Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games in 60 frames a second. So thank you for tuning in tonight. Mm -hmm. We've got some very special games tonight. Exciting. We've got three exclusive final versions of games. Oh, two, wow. Two from Brazil. Yay! So if you see uh, people typing in not English, uh, Portuguese, <laughs> Portuguese to be uh, specific, yes. uh, that's why. Yeah. Because very we have nice. a very large number of Brazilians tuning in because we have two Brazilian games Excellent. that we're going to start the show off Yay. with. One is Asteroids Attack, mm. which is the 2020 exclusive final release by Ricardo Pim, mm. um, being put out by Game select um and we have C cave rescue the 2020 exclusive final release by nathan vasconcelos put out by era games homebrew hmm. and then we'll be playing uh another exclusive danger zone uh i don't know if you remember playing that before the yeah. um flying one yeah, yeah this yeah. is he's finished it oh uh, wow. uh so we're playing the exclusive final release of that oh, nice. for the 7800 is by lewis hill muddy funster i feel like we just played that so it, it, it'll be recently. nice to compare you know the, yeah. the last version in this one so mm -hmm. yeah excellent um so he's powered through on that one it's just a, a small uh, uh side project for him because <laughs> he's working on so many games yeah. and uh, we'll also be playing i project by simon quernhorst mm -hmm. so i want to thank everybody for tuning in and thank all our twitch subscribers uh al nefer you can see it down the side there but beside mm -hmm. tanya uh, Armscar Coder, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic Catalog, Charles and Check, Coconut 81, Dianoid, Dan, AVC, Drexel, Glenn, Main, Great Defender, Crown, Ground Trooper, OJ Rapper 2600, Johnny WC23, Juan Irado, Carl G. Croco 2600, Mark Space, MCP90, McMuse, and Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Mighty Funster, Nathan Storm, Pack Rat, VG, Coog 2600, RC70 Replants, VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweets, Smitty B7800, Soccer D0603, Spiceware, The D Train 37, The Washman 89, Thunkus Tiki, Dan K, T Foes, and Trek MD. And if you want to get your name on that exhaustive list, <laughs> Uh, you can subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime nice. and click subscribe. Mm. And I'll read it out in a breathless form as well. <laughs> um, so a lot of... Uh, oh, Carl G missed the list. Let me start it again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it is Al Nefer Arms Guard Coder. No. 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 I noticed... Uh, oh, there's a, there's a bad black and white cat. <laughs> Sitting on a controller. Oh, and he's running out. They're crazy. And he's, he's, he's crazy. So make sure you uh, follow and subscribe and click like on all the things. And make sure you have your dinosaurs nearby. Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So you know of these special shows that come up uh, where we play special games on them. And all the uh, bad kitties. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I want to thank all the people tuning in live on Twitch. Because we do play live on Twitch. A lot of people watch on YouTube. Um, yeah. Because they can't be here at this exact time and this exact day um, because in Europe right now it's very sleepy time very well, sleepy very time late. yes yes yeah. uh, Metal Atari 1969 D train 37 money funster Carl G Nathan VL D train 37 uh, Paulo de Paulo OF uh, Caca Fiera, mm -hmm. uh, Andreas Apelio oh my goodness Andreas Sandra Capelio. Uh, Andreas Capello, Sandro Saldi, <laughs> uh, Shockey 1968, Diablo Games, Leo C. Santi, Sandro Saldi. Oh, it says we at ERA Games Homebrew are happy to support the work of our friend Nathan Vasconcelos. We hope to present some more games from in, in the year 2021. We appreciate that Zero Page Homebrew gives Game, gives to game creators, especially our beloved Atari 2600. Success! Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Pack Rat VG. Uh, Al uh, Miss Command. McMuse. Ricardo Pim. Flackets. Lots of people. Yep. Oh, who's that? Ed Fabricio. Fabi Saldi. Lots oh, of names. Oh, my Lots goodness. Andrew Davy. Flackets is in there. Flackets. Uh, Phil. Al Nefer, Pack Rat VG, <laughs> too many, yeah. too many, yeah. just too many. Free, scary, screen frozen? No, it's all good. Reload. Um, <laughs> so mail news and feedback. Last show I said that the Quadtari had a new name, but I was mistaken. In oh. fact, that was the very old name of it, of the Quadtari that I said. Um, 
Flatkits is pointing out they're 52 online right now. Excellent. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's very good. That's, that's very, very, very good. Very good. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> um, I'm so sorry about the confusion. Um, it just had not been updated on Nathan Tolbert's site. Okay. The guy's making the Quad Tari. Mm. Um, so thank you to John Champo for pointing that out and then reaching out to Nathan Tolbert to update his website <laughs> nice. so that it is corrected. Mm. Um, so the good news is that Al does not put little stickers over all the games with the new name. It's all fine. Mm. It's all fine with Quadtari. And uh, John Champo also said, oh, I have to change the ROMs now. It says Quadtari detected. <laughs> You'd have to change it now. It's all it's all yeah, wrong. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Um, so let's just take a look. And because Nathan Tober updated his website. Yeah. <laughs> so we can take a look at the updated website. Nice. That. Uh, boom. So there it is. Bite the Chili production. It's Quad Games, a quad multi-cart of four player games for the Atari 2600 bundled with a custom Quadtari adapter. Mm. So that's kind of news. Yeah. You're going to get a cartridge with four games on it. Oh, wow. Okay. That's To very go cool. along with the Quadtari because yes. it makes sense. It does make because sense. Because if you're buying an adapter and you don't have games for it, it should come with some yeah, games. Yeah, have some built in games. Yeah. Let's see. So it says with a new custom designed four player joystick adapter, Quad Games is the first multi cart of four player joystick based Atari games. Uh, yeah, so it's not the first Qu Quadtari game put out because there's always already been uh, uh, Wizard of War and um, uh, Galagon yeah. has Quadtari has support. Quadtari support yeah. uh, so it'll be the th third, depending on when it's put out. Mm -hmm. Uh, might be a little bit more because there's more games being put out by John Champo that support the Quad Tari. Um, so it's currently a work in progress, but the current games to be included are Quad Joust, which is looks like it's going to be crazy. Mm. Uh, quad Tank, which is combat, but with four tanks instead of two. Quad Bombs. We'll find out. Don't know what Quad <laughs> Bombs is. Is it Bomberman? We'll or um, That would be awesome. Um, what is the... the uh... Uh, what does it look like? What happens in the game? The uh, bombs. You, pick the them, bombs. you catch them in your in your oh, trays. Oh, um, that would be a lot. That's kaboom. Kaboom. Oh yeah, you it's, couldn't do that with four people. It's like if you split up the screen, maybe yeah. possibly. Yeah, Thank maybe. you for following. Oh, why is that underneath? This is something Paco. <laughs> Bull Paco. I can read it on my other screen. Yeah. Obviously, the layers are not. The are right not, right not the right way. Um, and quad He's racing. He's been playing with that a lot lately, yeah. so that's why Optimizing it. We're, we're, yeah, yeah, so things might be a little and off. And quad racing, which is, I'm guessing, car racing. Going to be car racing going around a track. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, that would be, be really good. very cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, so I'm looking forward to um, that for sure. <laughs> Um, so that's good. We get news by me having a mistake, <laughs> by saying something wrong. Yeah. Uh, so good came of that. Yeah. Quad tank should be called tanks a lot. <laughs> you suggest that to him. Yeah. Could be an alternate name, like yeah. little brackets underneath. Tanks, tanks a lot. lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Carl G. <laughs> yes, such low hanging fruit. Fake news, liar. <laughs> yes. But I correct. Um, we've got some mail here. Uh, specifically package. Yay! And I blanked out addresses. Yeah. Because that's the good thing to do. Because <laughs> uh, I don't want you visiting me. <laughs> not with, not with your diseases, whoever you are. And that's why we don't have Darcy here. Yeah. Sadly, unfortunately. Because he's yeah. got diseases. Well, potential and, and, diseases. And uh, they've kind of put us in a. They've recommended people not. Is socialize it? outside of their household yeah. for a couple of weeks because our cases are going up here. So. Yeah, so if we can get it under control, Darcy will be back. Yes. He can get himself under control. Yeah, he did not get the COVID. No, he did Do not. not spread that rumor. He's he did fine. not get it. Um, <laughs> but but they are recommending But we're following, so we're following the, the orders. rules yeah. like good boys and girls so we yes. can get it under control. Yes. So this is from um, Penguin Net. So you can see right there or nice. not see depending yeah. on how high resolution your screen yeah. is um and it's to me oh good it's paper and it's not uh, oh little pieces of paper <laughs> okay well that's slightly better than uh foam yeah, it's much better than foam totally recyclable yes well, never the, sure what to do with foam well the peanuts the packing peanuts i think are compostable some compostable of them. but com yeah because yeah. if you put them depends on where you are 
what people like in there. 1.539. <laughs> well, thank you, Marcelo Garcia, for following. Yes. So be alerted whenever we broadcast. On the other side, it says 1439. This you side says 1539. 1.53. Oh. Bet that's what it weighs. Oh. <laughs> and they weighed it wrong. I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Ooh. So. This is Ricky and Vicky for the Atari 7800. Oh, let's yeah. get it so it's Good not shiny. Stuff. It is shiny. No, I, I love the shiny packaging. By oh, way. it's very nice. I love the nice. shiny Vectrex packaging. So, so I'll show you guys mm -hmm. uh, in full. There you go. Vicky, Ricky and Vicky. Puzzling action for one or two players. Lovely. Thank you for following Nathan VL. Um, so they are actually sold out of this game now as of a week ago because I said on the show last week that I ordered one of the last <laughs> copies because I they said they're running out. Yeah. Um, so I was like, oh, I got to get this. <laughs> so it was very fast, actually. Yeah, very fast stuff. shipping. Good stuff. Um, so we'll be playing this on an upcoming show. Nice. Uh, it's two player, cooperative two player. Yes. Puzzle solve. Yes. Yeah, I love puzzle games. Yeah. It's going to be great. So. We've um, played this before, haven't we? No, because it's oh. only on um, cartridge. There's oh, no demo. Oh, I'm thinking of something else. Oh, that is nice. Beautiful Look orange cartridge. Look at that cartridge. orange cartridge. Oh, they can't see us. Well, there's something to see. Oh, they can see us in the yeah, corner. Yeah, they can. Yeah. We're just tiny. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that is beautiful. Way to go on the packaging. Yeah. That is nice. Well, it wasn't cheap, so yeah. um, <laughs> it better be some good packaging. But this is also available on Steam. So even if you don't get it for 7800 mm. um, I mean, we should go through this when we play it, I think. But it's got a manual, very nice thick uh, manual, and a sticker. And you can't see us very well. There we go. <laughs> I always forget. And a warranty and service information. <laughs> oh, serial number 1.539. So that's what that's the serial what... number was. <laughs> There's nothing like oh. someone putting random numbers in packaging <laughs> and Scary. James will spend the next three hours trying what to figure out it? what it means. <laughs> Packing date, February 10th, 2020. So that was, I guess, one of the last. That's kind of cool that they put that in there. Yeah. So you know when you got it. Mm. Um, and there's some Ooh. complimentary ticket to misery land. <laughs> um, and I believe that was the actual name that, um, Banksy named his fake Disneyland oh. that he set up was misery land. Banksy. Oh, okay. yes. Uh, it was a couple, like five years ago. I, I do remember, remember that? that. Yeah. Yeah. I it was all like broken down rides and everything looked terrible. Yeah. Um, it was, yeah. So if you don't have that, it uh, you can't get it anymore. So it's unfortunate. That. Yeah. Um, so we have moved John Champo's developer spotlight to December 18th, mm. just to make sure we have enough time to make it a great episode. And he's not Fair done. Enough. He's not done yet. So. He's not done yet. He's well, not done what he go. wants to reveal. It'll be uh, December 18th. Which, which is we gonna have a be crazy cat. <laughs> which is going to be Gorf Arcade. We're going to okay. have the premiere. A Gorf Arcade, oh, nice. exclusive premiere of that. Very cool. So he wants to put a little bit of polish on it. Mm. And um, also it's going to be the day after Thanksgiving, which was going to be like next week. I think. Oh, I see. So now it's it going to be a few it, days before Christmas. Yeah, so, so it was just a bit <laughs> crazy for him. <laughs> um, did we know that? I don't think they knew that. Did Gorf we know Arcade? What? Gorf Arcade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been... No, no. It's, it's been, been posted? Up. It's been posted. Okay. But you might and not have mentioned it on the show. He's, and he's already posted screenshots of it, too. Okay. So it's not it's not a mystery. I didn't accidentally say something. But I don't know if you've mentioned it on the show yet. I haven't... I may not have, but I don't it's, know been, if you have, it's been listed on my uh, list of upcoming shows forever. Okay. So. Fair it's enough. not a yeah. mystery. At the D train all. just said, you know, did we know that? And I'm not sure I knew that. <laughs> oh, so, you may not have well, you it. might have mentioned it, but I wasn't sure if you mentioned it on here. So oh, okay. that it was that it was common knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, our favorite elusive 2600 programmer, Simo, posted another game. Oh. That is inaccessible and not downloadable or posted <laughs> anywhere or for sale anywhere. Uh -huh. I think this makes it about 10 games. Okay. Since he has disappeared from the 2600 scene. But not disappeared. Mm -hmm. So what he does is every couple months, he 
posts a brand new game on his YouTube channel mm -hmm. and shows the gameplay for it without commentary. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's some screen subtitles. Mm -hmm. um, and doesn't post a link to download it, doesn't talk about it. He used to be in the 2600 forums. Mm -hmm. No idea what's going on or if these games are ever going to come out because they look like a lot of fun. Um, but I make sure to uh, grab them or talk about them uh, before they disappear. Um, so we're going to take a look at this newest one really quickly. Mm -hmm. i just keep the volume a little bit low. Uh, this one is called 16. And this one's a work in progress. Um, and this is the only video on his channel right now because mm -hmm. he deletes them as well off his video <laughs> channel okay. within a week or two. Yeah. So we're lucky to actually see this live. Um, so let's see. Turn up a little bit. Mm. So you shoot the red guys. What I, what I can gather, he hasn't talked about this at all. Gather the green guys and avoid the yellow guys. And then every time you get a green guy, you gain a little bit of power on the bottom. Gotcha. And you uh, get some points. And the colorful background is just for show. It's really nice. Yeah. yeah. Whenever you get a green thing, it goes crazy. Okay. So maybe it's there for distraction, right? Then after a while, it fills in more and more background. Oh. And it just starts getting just crazy. So it's, it makes crazy, it harder crazy. and harder to see what's happening on the screen in a way. Yeah. So it kind of disguises the red and the green and the yellow to make it a, a yeah. little bit harder. And I guess it, it goes faster too. It speeds up and too. slows down. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, oh, we'll just let this play out. Yeah, it's almost done. Um, but simo has been a mystery. I've reached out to him. You can see the one comment on his YouTube page, which is me, <laughs> saying, hey, love to show your games on the show. Silence. I've emailed him. I've found email addresses. I've yeah. messaged him yeah. on the Atari Age forums. Yeah. Just absolutely nothing. You know what? Not everyone wants contact and communication. That's fair. But I. But it would be nice if, if some of these games were made available. Were playable. So, yeah. And so it's a big mystery yeah. that nobody can play these games. I guess he's making them for himself to play, but then why is he oh, showing them on YouTube? they're exercises. They're exercises for him. Yeah. I mean, some people just like the challenge of, of programming sometimes, but... Uh, Very true. Yeah. yeah. I understand. Thank yeah. you. Um, uh, there's been a map released for the upcoming game Deep Stone Catacomb. Mm. Um, uh, McMuse says, this is a game guide for Deep Stone that I was working on. It's not really needed, but it was fun to do. I just represent each floor by four rooms to keep it simple. All the cat is walking on controls and I don't know what he just pressed. There we go. Um, there we go. Hopefully that didn't affect anything. So here is the map. This is at full. And then we're going to zoom in a bit. And he is, he is in a mood. It's like, it's yeah. Like too big. <laughs> It's like either too small or too big. I think that's okay. This guide is a oh. game for game one and game two variations. Nice. Every floor of the catacomb is randomly generated. However, the types of monsters encountered will remain the same on each floor. This map will allow you to see what dangers to expect going forward and how far you have left to descend. So you can see that's the entrance. And those are the enemies on floor one. Those are the enemies on floor two, etc., etc. until you get to the first tiny dragon, mm -hmm. then the medium, and then the big dragon, and then the gold room. So it's kind of cool. See, oh, there I can zoom in on the dragons. There we go. And you get like a reward room. Oh, yeah. With food mad. and gold. Are you mad? And extra lives and nice. gold. That's after so every dragon. Cool. It's just a really neat map. I hope he includes it in the packaging, like a fold out mm. of, of the level design. Yeah. Uh, that's a yellow bar on the bottom. Interesting. I think it's some sort of energy bar that depletes if you don't get the green guys. Yeah, it's constantly going down the energy bar in the. Uh, in the last game that mm -hmm. we showed. Um, so there is a game that was, well, a early work of pro work in progress, proof of concept by Splendid. Now, we're gonna, not gonna play it because it's not really playable, mm. but I did wanna show it. Cool. Um, it's called Paint the City, and it is um, based off of the game City Connection, an arcade game, and he's done a very good job. He's kind of made the game in full, like, everything's kind of there, but you can't really die. Um, I did want to show it, but you can't play it, so we're just oh. going to quickly look at it. Cat anger. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> he's, he's in a mood today. 
He's in a crazy mood. Mm -hmm. So All let's right. just take a quick look at Paint the City. Very early demo? Yeah, very early demo. Oh. So you are the orange car. Mm. And you press up to jump. Very floaty right now. Mm. And you can go over the little dotted lines. And what you need to do is paint the city. Oops, didn't quite make that. So there. you're painting all the streets white? Yeah. Which that... is the same as uh, the original arcade game. Oh. Um, and then these cars you have to hop over and avoid. Mm. Um, so he's got he's got the city scrolling by, and he's got the uh, streets you have to paint, and he's got the power-ups there, but you can't collect them, those little orange dots. They're gotcha. supposed to be like static. Static, yeah. okay. And you Neat. can jump and move around and go yeah. right to the bottom. You kind of fall through Go floors. down, yep. yeah. There you go. There's no sound or anything, so it's not really a game yet. But it's just it's just a work in progress. It looks really nice. Parallax. Relax. Uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Little bit the on streets the versus streets, the background. Yeah. The streets move slightly yeah. faster. Than I do the city, really which like is... the uh, color scheme though, where you have it the is. four levels. Oh, and there's the... a balloon at the top. I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah. I can't get there because no, because the car's you're stuck in the middle, always on the center. Yeah. But those are things that Neat. you can collect. Yeah. Oh, that's very cool. And he's got some diagnostic things at the top. You can see the height is represented on the first um, yeah. number. And don't know what the second number is. Not sure. Yeah. But anyway, wanted to show that. Not a game yet, mm. but it's looking very promising. Inspired by the sure. NES version. Splendid. Uh, okay, not yeah. by the arcade. So more closer to the NES, NES version, version than the arcade. Yes. So we'll compare the NES version when we play it on the show, when yeah. it's ready to play. Rather than, well, we'll look at the arcade too, of course. Um, posted yesterday by Al Nefer, who is, I think, uh, also in the chat. Um, Plus card updates. Hmm. Uh, there's new firmware, uh, version 0.16, I guess. Um, in the Plus Store, um, new fonts, new keyboard, new display, download buffer size increase for faster downloads, animated loading logo, many bug fixes and tweaks. He says, thanks to Andrew Davey, he has done the animated logo, new fonts, the new keyboard, and all the colors. And we're gonna actually do an update live of the Plus Cart later in the show. Um, not right now, because we wanna get to the games, but we will take a look at that. And speaking of games, we're gonna get to the first one, which is Asteroids Attack. This is a 2020 exclusive final release by Ricardo Pym uh, through Game Select. This was first posted November 18th, 2019. Mm -hmm. This build is from November 6th, so a couple days ago. It's a 32K game. Other games it's made, Asteroid Attack and Battle Zuma. Mm -hmm. um, you can download an early demo of this game, mm -hmm. a demo version 2 um, from the Game Select Facebook page. And last time we played it was March mm -hmm. 2020, so okay. earlier in the year. Um, so let's get to it. I've got some instructions here and some info from him. Yep, go to it. Start? Yep. Nice. nice. Look at that font. Very nice. Tiny, Love I like it. the tiny little font. Very 50s inspired yep. Asteroids Attack. I A like that. A game select production. I've got instructions here nice. which you will get in, in your the packaging. box when yeah. you buy it and i they posted uh, some info about it i believe there's 30 copies yep. that they're selling of it uh shoot some asteroids for me the yeah. d train says Good night, d -train. oh d train's yeah leaving. he has to go well, thanks for hanging out for a bit yeah um so we're going to take a look actually at the unboxing video first so people can see <laughs> what they get um and they can see the the box cool. as well Little preamble to the sh to the to us playing to us playing nice. So there's the um, there's the boxes. They've got uh, them numbered out of thirty. Mm. Um, very very nice cover. Star defense and asteroids attack. Got the game select there. And each of them are numbered on the box. Guessing that's a sticker. Um, the language is not English, so I won't be able to understand <laughs> it anyway. 
Uh, totally new Asteroids Game Challenge. Pilot all nine Star Defense uh, Starfleet spaceships and be efficient and don't let asteroids hitting Earth. Gotcha. Uh, the mission only Aww. ends up if you return safely. That's right. So I remember we had to fly out and then fly back, if I remember correctly. Yes. Yes, and we did uh, did make it. Oh, it's on the insert as well. Very nice. Just nice. Uh, let's see, nice instruction manual. Come on, YouTube. You know, YouTube <laughs> went down the other day. Yeah, completely. For a couple hours. We we were like, what's going on? So Is did it the everyone Wi-Fi? else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, no. It's so we've got, we've got this manual here. Excellent. So we'll be going through that. Anything okay. else? Oh, and we'll take a look at the cartridge quickly. Nice red cartridge. I love that. I love when the... I love the color cartridges. Yeah. Like this, nice this orange. orange one's gorgeous. And it's just nice gorgeous. And smooth on the edges. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and they've got... Oh, it's like an orange. Yeah. The little uh, handles. Nice. Oh, and that's number two. So everything nice. is numbered. So, you that's know... That's really nice. Yeah. It all matches. Asteroids attack. Nice. Oh. <laughs> trouble with the chat there Weird. oh it is yeah we're still broadcasting we're broadcasting okay yeah we just can't seem to get a break get uh a break. should i close it and open it again no no just leave it just leave it it's fine what's going on? or maybe you want to i don't know i don't know what is it uh no it's definitely behind yeah so we're still good we're still good here mm. okay Sorry. That's annoying. so let's get to the game Asteroids attack. So, if I remember correctly, you don't want to... Um... Sorry. Oh, you're working on that. Yeah. I will start then. Yeah, you start playing because uh, I'm just fixing an issue, a known issue. Yep. So, beautiful graphics of the Earth. Really nice two, two color graphics of the Earth. And there's the space fleet leaving. And I do want to turn this down, but I can't. Because I only have... Can you take the remote for the mm -hmm. TV mm -hmm. and turn down the volume a little bit on this? So you can't let any of these by, and I will, because... Sorry. Your fault! My fault! You're the one who told me to grab the remote. <laughs> okay, here. What am I doing? Shoot everything. Ah, Don't oh, let anything this. go by. Any. You can hold it down. Oh, that's, that's sometimes, yeah, it's probably better. Don't get shot by those little bullets. You can't let anything by. Nothing? Nope, because the earth gets destroyed. If anything goes by? Um, it gets more destroyed. Where's the road? Did you just put it? I just it's oh. right by me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Am I better off getting hit by one than letting it go by? Um Probably no, not. no. Let it go by rather than get hit. Yeah, don't get hit. Are those power-ups? Don't get it. Uh, none of them are power-ups yet. No? No. The square things? No. Uh, the big square rotating things? Yeah. Yes, they are. Sorry. Well, you died anyway before I could ask you. That means you're almost to the end of the level. And it's the uh, power-ups you can help defeat the boss at the end of the level. Ah! So the yellow ones are the fastest. They're annoying. So you kind of want to go for them first. Because you can always go back to the other things. Don't step on the controllers. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. What'd you get? There you go. Nice. So, Ricardo Pim said, uh, Hi, James. Our game Asteroids Attack is already finished and will be released uh, only on cartridge later this month. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yay. On the site, there's a downloadable demo for the general public. I like the backgrounds giving a feeling of motion. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. really great. Yeah, the stars flying, flying past. Yeah, they're going at a really nice speed, like like going in warp, warp speed. Um, I'm exclusively offering the complete game for you to enjoy. It would be our pleasure to see you play again. <laughs> be our pleasure to play again. Yes, exactly, and it. Oh boy. Uh, since the last <laughs> update, I'm implementing all the suggestions you highlighted. Power-ups. Nice. Which, uh, did you get the power-up? Uh, yeah, last? I think so. 
It gives you health back or something like that? Uh, I think it gives you a bigger shot. Ah. For defeating the boss, because it only comes at the end of the level, I believe. Um, <sighs> the gameplay was slightly easier. Uh, the boss alerts. Boss alerts, yep. Some color adjustments that made it difficult to visualize some elements and more. A new power-up has been added for players who do not wish to score, but rather end the game. Mm. By pressing the game select key, you will go through a warp gate that will take you directly to warp five. Oh, so you can you can see the the final. He's nope. a bad cat. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. I bad recommend cat. testing it in a second gameplay. Mm. Mm. Uh, you're losing lives left and oh, right. Oh, that's okay. I'm. <laughs> uh, if if you're looking for some challenge as a reference as a game programmer, every time I finished it, I did it with over six hundred thousand points. Wow. He's probably very good at his own game. Yeah, <laughs> that tends to happen, but... Uh, don't forget to adjust the A, B keys on the left to adjust the difficulty, and the one on the right to turn the music on or off. Music's fine. Music's good. This music's a little bit quieter in this level than the first one. A little bit more subdued. Psst. Oh, he's bad. Gotta go. He doesn't want to go. He wants to play. He does want to play. He's very bad. Look at that tail swishing. <laughs> so, let's read through the instructions. All right. Do not... Psst, psst. Do not. <laughs> do not. Uh, bad cat. No. No. <laughs> Star defense in asteroids attack. The year is 2600. And the recently discovered X planet... <laughs> <laughs> He's so bad. <laughs> Distracting from the game. Oh, and I lost my controller. Ah. It's level three now? Yeah, but I just lost my cord and ugh. distractions. <clears throat> the first passage through the solar system disturbs the harmony of the asteroid belt, hurling it thousands of asteroids towards Earth. That's for sure. Oh, this is not going Don't well. crash. It's no, much worse. No, I was going to die. I was going to die. No, no, you have all that. That's... Look at all that. What's... But look at the Earth. Look at the right. The yeah. Earth is about to die, right? No. Oh, what is you the still, right? You have all the green. Oh. What? Well, then what's the what's the green bar at the right? That's more green. That's what? More green. Oh. You have all the green on the, on the right and on the left. I believe. Shoot, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Yay! Yay! Uh, humanity, with full of, humanity with full mastery of space technology created the Star Defense Starfleet, designed for exploration and defense. Upon knowing of the destructive power of the event, a fleet of nine spaceships was dispatched with the aim of destroying all asteroids that threaten the planet while the Earth mission remains on alert. But during the stellar mission, something terrible is discovered, and the horde of asteroids become the least of the problems. Oh, lots of things happening now. Oh, it's so... Red ones are fast. Oh. So it introduced a faster one. Oh, yeah, this is not going well. <laughs> Don't it's crash. It's not going well at all. Don't crash. Oh, that's okay. Let it happen. Don't crash. I've only got one life left. Yeah, but I mean, there's a lot on the screen. The Starfleet discovers that the attack was not an event of natural causes, but something carefully planned by the no longer unknown inhabitants of X-Planet, who for reasons still unknown planned the total destruction of Earth. Ten, you can go left and right. I've, I think we last oh, time... Oh, yeah, I always forget that. But it makes you go faster, and the things go off the screen faster. I know. So I... Ah, what's going on? Because ah, this... Mm, you, quit pressing you, it against your leg. Haven't you taped it up yet? No. And that's okay. Okay. Do you have some duct tape? I'm gonna nope. duct tape it. Nope. <laughs> Never falls out for me. I always forget I can go left and right. Never falls out for me. Yeah. <laughs> it does fall out for you. Once. That's that's a lie. I think once. No, I'm sorry, that's a lie. Once. I'm sure I can go through for those of you if you're going through the YouTube videos, I want you to pick out how many times that falls out for him, because it does. It and is And you switch the switch so it's pushing upward, but I fixed that. What is? Uh, there's a switch oh, the on switch. this. Was it pushing upwards the whole time? No, you'd be 
I just nuts. did it. Yeah, no, no, that's, that doesn't make sense. Look, women have to cross their legs when they play video games. That's okay. just the way it happens. Have to. Yes, they do. They don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll see how far I can get, and then we will uh, jump to warp five, or level five. Which one did you get to? Four? Three? Four. Uh, three? Ah. Three? Four? I think four. I think I got to four. I think I, I destroyed... Three. Three big planets? I do recall playing this game, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a great, great game. Uh, Ricardo Pym had made the comment, if I can scroll back up. Where are we here? You can see that each wave has a different song. Yep. I have noticed uh, that. The songs were taken from various games from the 80s and 90s, loved by Brazilians. Oh. My favorite is the theme of Tiger Heli on Wave 8. So we're gonna oh. have to, <laughs> you're going to have to get to Wave Make it eight. to Wave 8? Good yeah. luck to me. How did how did we finish this game last time? We did finish it, didn't we? Yes, Maybe not. I, I want to say we did. I, I or you did. I, I was think there a so. continue? Okay. Uh, I don't think there was a continue. Do you want to keep reading the instructions? Oh, the score's high though. Maybe it was a continue. Did it start from the beginning or did it continue? No, no. I start from the beginning. Yeah, there was okay. no continue. Where, where, where did you get to? That page. Beginning of that page. Okay. Gameplay. Oh. Wave two. And you get a different color ship each time you die. Because oh. it's, it's an actual different ship. Oh, cool. Because there's nine ships. Oh. Which is very, very clever. That is very clever. Because cool. in most games, it's it looks like always the same ship. Yeah, right? of course. Yeah, that's really unusual. Are the little bomb-like things possible to get? So they're Not shots. those little ones. Those little ones, no, but there's some square ones that are power-ups. Yeah. Okay, you will have the mission to destroy as many asteroids as possible from each of the nine waves, and at the end of the mission, return safely to Earth. The end of each wave is indicated by the passage of a giant asteroid with huge destructive power, which must be eliminated. Failure to destroy the giant asteroid will result in the destruction of the Earth and game over. The Earth mission is not prepared to deal with large amounts of falling asteroids, so be efficient. Let, let as few asteroids pass through. The bottom bar to the left of the score indicates the Earth's life bar that will be reduced each time a planet is hit. The end of the life bar will result in destruction of the Earth and an end to the game. Only asteroids are harmful to the planet. You will command each one spaceship, uh, each one, one of the spaceships sent uh, on the mission. If a spaceship is destroyed, you will start to command the next one. The destruction of all of them will result in the destruction of the Earth and the end of the game. So I just got the power up. Nice. Which is faster shot. Faster shot. Ooh, very nice. And you're flashing too, in pink and pink and yellow. Mm-hmm. I like that. So this should be a very um, quick boss challenge. The bottom bar to the right of the score indicates the progress bar of the wave that will be reduced to each destroyed asteroid or enemy UFO. The end of the progress bar will result in the end of the wave and the beginning of the next one. Very oh, nice. the right hand one's the progress bar. Progress. Oh, okay. Earth. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's why I was like, which one is which? And you're like, no, it's all the Earth. And I'm like, no, I don't think it is. So that's progress on the right. Uh, during the first three waves, you will be the target of shots fired by enemy UFOs that have not yet revealed themselves. The only thing to do is to mm. dodge. When they reveal themselves from the fourth wave, shoot without mercy, but remember your main mission is to eliminate the asteroids. Are the two little dots asteroids? Yes. Everything's asteroids. I remember we went through these, but we will go through them again. There we go. Power up. Letting through a lot of asteroids because there's just so many. Yeah, it's hard. There is a lot. Sorry, Earth people. <laughs> uh. In addition to asteroids, the inhabitants from Planet X fire energy bombs to reach Earth. But what they didn't realize is that the Starfleet is capable of using these bombs to make their uh, ships and their firepower faster and more efficient. Use them to your advantage. So those are the square uh, ones damn. that occasionally pop up. The waves of attacks get bigger and bigger as you progress in the mission, so don't give up. The survival of the human race depends only on you. I will do my best. <laughs> <laughs> it's not 
going super well, but it, the, the asteroids don't affect the Earth as much as they used to. Mm. Ricardo saying, Tanya, read the manual tips. It's very helpful. <laughs> we'll get there. Okay. Using the controller, the game is for one player only. Use the left con left controller of your console to guide the ships of the Star Defense uh, Star Defense Starfleet. Keep the joystick up or down will cause the spaceship to go up or down, respectively. Keeping the joystick to the right will power the spaceship, causing it to accelerate. To the left, it will start the reverse engine, and the spaceship will decelerate. You always unscrew this as well. I always find it like almost off. I don't know what Trouble. To say. <laughs> he blames me for everything. <laughs> it's easier. Uh, <laughs> it's easier than blaming yourself. Yeah. Or the cats. Uh, or the cats. Cats, cats get a lot cats of blame. Cats do get a lot of blame. <laughs> Diagonal movements are also allowed. You can oh, gain altitude new. while accelerating or, des or descending while slowing down. Not applying any movement to the ship after a continuous acceleration time will cause it to return to the standard power and automatically return to the initial attack position. I don't know how accelerating is is helpful and whatsoever. It, 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 it's so brutal. It is brutal. It makes brutal. everything faster. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> like it makes the destruction of the Earth faster. It does. Mm. Got the power up. In the last wave, returning to Earth, the acceleration and deceleration movements are reversed, tilting the joystick to the left to accelerate oh. and the right to slow down. You're going the opposite way. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. The jo joystick button is used to shoot. Hold down the button to shoot continuously or press and release only when you have the target in your crosshairs and make only one shot. I like holding it down. There's a <laughs> lot of stuff on the screen I need to shoot, so. Okay. Do you want me to go over the console controls or shall we skip to the asteroids? Like the 2600 console yep. controls? Well, some of them are useful. Like Okay. Game reset switch used to start the game. It can be triggered on the title screen or during a gameplay to stop a match and start over. On the title screen, the game can also be started by pressing the joystick red button. Game select switch starts warp speed. It can only be triggered during a gameplay and in waves one through four. Mm. Mm, what? There's Warps? a warp speed. A portal will open and take you straight to wave five, oh, so it okay. allows you to skip ahead. Oh, okay. I thought it was something different. We, we will have to test that out, yeah. though. Yeah. Uh, TV type switch has the function of pausing the game. Oh, excellent. That very, is excellent. Very nice. That is very helpful. Uh, especially when is the it... cats start running around the room <laughs> and hitting the controls for the, the ah! live stream. <laughs> Left. Sorry. Yep. Uh... During a match, set the key in the black-white position to pause. Returning the color will cause the game to return exactly to where it left off. Uh, pausing a match during an animation or transition screen will only pause when the match restarts. So, Only pauses during gameplay? Going game. Okay. Left. Oh, no, it goes through the animation and then, then pauses. pauses. Wow, yeah. that's very cool. Yeah. Left difficulty switch manages the difficulty of the game by changing the cadence and speed of the player's ship's shot. Select mm. B for beginners and shoot more often with faster shooting, or A for experienced players and discover the difficulty of playing with few fewer shots. We're not experienced. Yeah. We're, it's no, on we're B. in difficult. Left. What? Oh no, we're at B for beginners. No, no. Sorry. B for beginner, A Never for advanced. Mind. Right difficulty switch. Turn the game music on and off. I don't know why you'd want to turn it off. <laughs> um, select A to pause the song, or B to listen to the music. The game has nine different songs to enjoy, one for each wave. Okay. Okay, so some enemy, now... Some enemies from uh, uh, Mega, Meg, Mega, Mega Man? Mania. Mega Mania. Those little green guys are from oh. right out of Mega Mania. Oh, nice. For sure. Okay, so the asteroids. Okay. Three kinds. green asteroids. Three green ones. Yeah, are called the Triple Emerald. Uh, shows up from Wave 6 forward. It's the oh. most dangerous of all. Super fast. It might surprise you. It is the speed 5 of 5. Five out of five. Oh, okay. Fastest. This is your primary target. Pink Quartz. So the pink ones. Yeah. Shows up from wave three. It is not less dangerous and it's still fast. It's hard to get knocked down. It has the speed four or five. The yellow one is the gold rock. It's been around since the beginning of the game. Immediate difficulty like the others. It becomes more dangerous with diagonal movements, which is true from like wave two. Mm. Uh, it has a speed three of five. So pink is slightly faster than yellow. If I don't get those aliens, it doesn't matter, right? Because the they aliens? don't hit the Earth. No, it's the asteroids that matter more. Right. Oh, get the power up. Oh, yeah. 
Way oh, faster. Oh, that helped you. It gave it gave your earth back some life. It did? Yes, it did. Oh. Yeah, you stopped flashing. I didn't know that. Excellent. Oh, that's Somehow nice. transmits some power to earth, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Sapphire stone. With a low difficulty, also appears from the beginning of the game. It is not one of the fastest, but still harmful to earth. It has a speed of 2 of 5. And double brass. So these are the two brown ones. Right. Very easy to destroy since the beginning of the game is the least fast of all, but still with the same potential destroyer of the mm. others. Don't ignore him completely. Has the speed one of five. They're also kind of annoying when they get to the end of your screen yeah. because they kind of block you because they're so slow. Yeah, get it. Get the power. There you go. Did that actually increase the Yes, earth? it did. It did. Yeah, you stopped flashing. Your earth was about to die. Oh. Um... Giant asteroids, impossible to draw in such a small space. <laughs> uh, they are the main objective of the mission. It's nine in all, uh, nine in all, coming into showing uh, up at the end of each wave. Only one already has the power to destroy Earth. So impossible to destroy with a single shot. It's speed and size change, making it bigger and faster with each wave. You've got to destroy them or your game is just, just immediately over. over. So it's not like a normal, well, it is like a normal yeah. boss. Steam Iron UFO. I don't think we've seen one of those yet. Uh. Ooh, get it, 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 get it. Oh, just in time. Jeez, it's good I had the power-ups. Steam Iron UFO. No, it are the little bomb-like things possible to get. No, it's shots from UFO at late waves. Yeah, yeah, just have to avoid them. You can't shoot them or anything. Wave six out of nine. Because the emerald ones, they're the fastest. And Gotta they, get those immediately. And they are asteroids. They do damage. They are asteroids, yes. There's too many. There's too many things. Oh. Oh, oh no. It's fence dude. Oh my god. Sorry, Earth. The power ups help. <laughs> Sorry, Earth. The yellow ones just constant are constantly coming. Yeah, and they're all over the place. Steam Iron UFO, Wave 8, most dangerous of all, was super fast with the equally fast shot. It's a speed three of five. Radial tire UFO. That's the the pink one. Radial tire. It does look like a tire that? track, doesn't it? No. no. Oh. No. Uh, it's a pink one. I have seen it before. Um, whew. Um, shows up from wave six. Its speed is not the fastest, but the destructive potential of its shot equals that of the enemy above the steam iron. It has uh, the speed of two of five. The bug UFO, which is the green guy. Uh, shows up from wave 5. It's not the most dangerous or as fast. Your shot is intermediate speed. Uh, it has a speed 2 of 5. And then the hamburger UFO, which is the pink one. Right. There's the radial there tire one there. Uh, shows up from wave 4. It's the easiest to eliminate, but not so harmless. It's not as fast, but still destructive. It has a speed of 1 of 5. So there's some asteroids that go off the screen at an angle. Yeah. I'm guessing they do damage anyway. Oh, I, I'm sure everything. The only things that don't are the UFOs don't do damage to the Earth. Yeah. So, like, yeah, they're... Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it! Yeah! Actually, I think the flashing is... Is the flashing just an indication that there's a power-up coming? Yeah. And okay. It makes a noise, I thought too. it was... I thought it meant the Earth was about to die. Like... No, 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 no. So you, you're, you need the power-up now kind no. of thing, but... It's just the power up is coming. Gotcha. Like, there's no way you can get all the asteroids. They're all equally as destructive, so you just have to get as many as you can. Mm. And really, the ones that are going the fastest are the ones you really need to concentrate on because mm. there's more of them getting to the end if you don't concentrate on them. And then the other ones, you just kind of get. Ah, oh, at least you start where you stopped. <laughs> oh, asteroids out screen don't damage Earth, so I guess oh. they go off the edge. Oh, so I can ignore yeah. them. Yeah. Good. I will ignore them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll concentrate on... The ones heading straight for you. Yeah. Oh. Okay, power up. Energy bomb. They're kind of bombs fired to hit Earth, but when intercepted, they increase the power of Starfleet ships. Uh, start showing up whenever your wave performance uh. isn't, isn't doing well. 
Oh. So when when it starts, your Earth is about to d get destroyed. They they show up. So I oh. guess I guess they are really? sort of a lifesaver to keep you going. Oh. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Um. So don't mess them, because you're in trouble already. Up to a maximum of eight times. So oh, throughout the geez. entire thing. Interesting. Damn it! It has a temporary effect from wave four or while the ship that captured it is active. It also loses its effect at the entrance of the giant asteroid. So when the oh, giant asteroid comes, really? yeah, you lose the fast shot. Oh, I thought you kept it. Um, no, but it, it gets you to the giant asteroid. So I it guess doesn't, that's the idea. So it doesn't matter if you get that power up or not. Or not for the giant asteroid. The giant asteroid, asteroid is still as yeah. hard. But it is... Oh my goodness, it's coming. Is it? Somewhere. Or, the or you're, 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 you're about the to kill the Earth. There it is. Get it, 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 get it. Yeah. Your amount of time you have to kill it is less and less and less. You mm. have to get every shot in on it. I love a good space shooter. I may have to pick this one up. Yes. Oh, it's limited <laughs> supplies. Nice. Get it while you can. 30. It uh, should be coming in a week or two, mm. I said. Within oh. This month, I think. Well, they've got all 30 of them uh, made. Made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Not getting very many here. How's the Brazil Canada shipping uh <laughs> <laughs> Uh well any kind of shipping's bad. Right yeah, now, that's but... very true. Oh. Even shipping within Canada. So. It's slow. Yeah. Slow and terrible. Mm. But that um, that's amazing. That game came very fast. The um Which one? Ricky and Vicky came oh, quite fast. Where did so. that come from? I think it was the U.S. Oh, yeah, okay. it was U.S. So that was pretty good a week. It's it's a little up in the air. Um, oh my god, I almost crashed in that. There were certain periods during the pandemic it where it terrible. was horrific. Just nothing. Uh, getting it, getting across the the Can Canadian border was terrible. I would see things um, listed as just sitting there for weeks. Weeks like and weeks, like you happened. would know because you would check on UPS the or tracking. whatever. Yeah. And and you'd be like. Two weeks have passed and, and it hasn't left there. the border you yep. know it was crazy and i think they were just supremely backed up because people weren't working i yeah. think that was the big issue i think it, less people working. they're keeping people working now that they have plans but so that helps but oh yeah. it was terrible for a while um oh i knew it damn it should i go over points sure the point count in the game is carried out in different ways. You earn points by destroying the asteroids, each one having a different score. The faster it is, the higher uh, will be the points. Uh. The same principle applies to enemy ships. The giant asteroid of each wave also worth points. Uh. You earn points for each shot fired at it and by destroying it completely. Well, technically, you get every single asteroid or you die. The big ones. Uh, yeah, yeah you do. Over. Yeah, that's a guaranteed point score, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, in addition to increasing the power of your ship, you also benefit from points from picking up an energy, energy bomb. Mm. Uh, the player also benefits from his performance at the end of each wave. The remaining life bar of the Earth is also converted into points. So you get yes. points for pretty much everything, which is great. <laughs> no, I, I love a high scoring game. Yep. It, it, it really does boost your um, self-confidence. <laughs> Even though other people get equally high or higher scores, but it still feels good. Like pinball games where it's in the tens of Oh, millions. I love pinball games. You're like, I got two million. You're like, the highest score is like billion. X billion. You're like, oh, okay. okay. Uh, still felt good. Um, so Steam Iron UFOs 500 points, Radial Tire UFOs 300, Bug UFO 300, Hamburger UFO 20, 200. I, I don't know why, but every time I see hamburger, I get hungry. Um, <laughs> mm, hamburger. <laughs> hamburgers. Um, triple emerald. Uh, the, so the three green ones are 250. Pink quartz is 200. Gold rock is 150. Sapphire is 100. Double brass is 50. And the giant asteroid gives you 1,000 points. Okay. The energy bomb gives you a thousand points. Another reason to pick it up. Oh yeah, you want it. Uh, each shot in the giant asteroid gives you fifty, and each remaining wave asteroids. Each remaining wave asteroids is fifty. Hmm. Oh, I suppose after you've hit the giant asteroid, if there's more on the screen, oh. you get fifty points for each one on the screen. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, it, it's, it's got like to be kind of clean up. I guess so. Clean up points. Yeah. Thank you. If your post office doesn't tear the packages up. Well, yeah. speaking of that, 
Oh, UFO's yes. name is from Mega Mania too. So it's all uh, Mega Mania themed. Very okay. cool. Sorry. Uh, yes, post office. Yes, you can go ahead and tell that story <laughs> if, if if mentally you can uh, tell the story and play the game at the same time. Oh, get it, get it. Um, so we get our cat food on a subscription basis. Yeah. And they deliver it to the house because because it's um, special food, special diet food. You can only get through um, through the to the vet. Yeah. Um, so we get it. They finally opened it up so we can order it online. Which, which is, is which fabulous. Is it just comes every couple of weeks kind of and, thing. And, yeah. and you say X, X number of weeks you get it. Mm -hmm. um, so this one was delayed a bit. Just a little bit. Like a week or something? Yeah, they, they emailed me. Do you want me to pause? <laughs> no. Nope. We'll check that out in a second after yeah. this game. I don't want to pause in the middle of it. Um, yeah, so I got an email saying, oh, we couldn't fulfill the Steam order. Iron. Steam iron. Oh, you must that be is from Mega wave Mania. eight. Wave yep. eight. Yeah. Is this the last wave? Uh, okay. there's n nine or eight. Nine. I think there's nine. And I died. Wave eight. Oh, you got two more. Mm. Um, yeah, you get nine ships, and I think there are nine waves. Just don't die. I must say in the manual. Anyway, I got an email saying, "Oh, we we can't fulfill the order," and I thought, "Okay, that's really weird." And I went online, and it was said it was still going through. Well, we figure something happened in postage because we did get the cat food today. Today, which was a weekish or so late from which when is, it was supposed to deliver, which is fine. Yeah, we still have extra. Yeah, the cats didn't starve. Don't worry, that's <laughs> that's all good. But you said the the package looked like it went like under a steamroller or something. Like well, it was <laughs> the to the top of it was completely open. Yeah, like opened, like somebody wanted to look inside. To see, see what, what it was. See what, what what kind of cat food it was. Wow, that's funny. Um, and, and but they left it, so up. yeah, that's funny. And they didn't tape it up again, so somebody was messing with it. But it's that's also why it was really delayed. heavy. I think they lost it, maybe. I think they lost it too. Underneath I think it went somewhere else. Got run over. Yeah. Ah. Um, oh! So is it eight or nine? Eight, nine. Nine. Nine, waves? nine is the last wave, I, th oh, I believe. Okay. Let me see. Check it out. I don't think I'm going to make it to nine. Did we skip last time? Oh, maybe wave eight is the last one. Does it not say? It must say how many. I'm just trying to see. I've already forgotten. The levels do get much longer every time you do one. But then you have to go back, don't you? Like, like Yeah, back is much faster if I remember correctly. Like It's like way, way, way faster. But I mean, I think you have wave eight and then the last wave you go back. Yeah. So it might be, I don't know, we'll see. I think oh, the last like, yeah. the last bad guys show up in wave eight, so. Yeah. I, uh, Ricardo Pim, the package will be well done. It's a risk <laughs> everywhere, yes. You have to be very careful with packing anything. Yeah, packing. Um, I mean, we're talking about like canned cat food, so <laughs> it's not a big. It's deal. not a big deal, but died, but, but it was just yeah. You you messaged me today at work, and you're like, yeah, it looks like someone ripped open the box, and I'm like, stomped what? on it, jumped up, jump up and down, up on, and it. down on it. Yeah, it happens. Poor cats. Anyway, they rejoiced. <laughs> they got their cat food. They were happy. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not really a concern on easy about the the number of hits that the earth is getting. Because mm. I haven't even come close to it getting, like, down. It's, uh, that's better. <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely helps. Like, maybe I've gotten it down I really half. like the idea that if your wave isn't going well, it gives you a little bit of a boost, <laughs> you know? Like, How does here... it determine that? Um, the Earth is about to be destroyed. But it wasn't. It was not. It was oh, like oh no, a I I think it five was low. sixths. It was very high. What do you mean? It's the one on the right. No, the you're one on the right is the, is the progress. Oh, you're right. To the end. I don't the know. one on the left is the Earth. I don't know. And it was doing just fine. I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it just knows. A lot of enemies on the screen, which is keeps you very oh. occupied. Yeah, and like that dodging, is for sure. dodging, dodging, lots dodging. of dodging. Oh. oh my god, that guy's really attacky. <laughs> he's the, very attacky. The steam iron? Yeah, he's he was constantly shooting. The other guys are not not a big concern, but the steam iron was like You're really at, at me. You're almost at the end. Luckily, the bosses are not too bad. You just have to 
put every Everything. shot you have into them. Oof. Is that a steam iron? But it was. Yeah. They're bad. Naughty, naughty, naughty. It does alert you when you're about to get to the end. So the speeding up does help when you're dodging. But in general, going faster just means things are going off the screen faster and destroying the earth faster. Yeah. <gasps> get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Or you can get that faster, too. Yeah. If it's uh, causing trouble. Wow. I'm almost to the end. Oh, you're so, so close. On my last life. I know. Careful. <laughs> oh, it's the alert of the bad guy. The thing is, the enemies don't stop. No, they keep coming. You just have to be super careful. Ooh. Yeah, do not speed up on the Careful, enemy. careful, careful. Oh, yeah. Was that the last one? Yeah, I think so. Or is there you a wave found nine? Whether it's wave nine or eight. Waiting for dice. Dice, no, it's wave nine. I thought there were uh, dice. Oh, boy. This is not going to be easy on one life. Are there any extra enemies that show up on wave nine? No, I think I think all the extra enemies. Like I think that iron one was the last one. Mm-hmm. Just more. Oh. 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 Just dodge and shoot. <laughs> yep, yeah, dodge and shoot. Oh, steam iron, die. Go away. <laughs> the tension is intense, yes. Yes. So close. <laughs> a lot of things are flying off the screen. Yeah. Which I've been we've been told that it's not a concern. Well, if they they fly off the sides, I guess. Yeah, they don't make it to the left hand side. If they side make it the to the left hand side, you're that's not good, but The boss is much much bigger now. <laughs> that one was very close. Oh, cause, cause it was. Like you was, basically have to there was a shoot it from like <laughs> right from the beginning, but it does give you a warning so you can kind of get in place. But at the same time it's also mm -hmm. huge, so you can't really miss it either. Oh my god, the levels get so much longer. So much longer. Tips and tricks. Yep. To increase your chances of survival, keep the spaceship more or less at the center of the screen. What? Returning to the left starting position only to destroy asteroids that have passed you by. What? Hit oh, you know what? Maybe they're like, oh, you'll get to the end faster. Oh, I don't know. But then you move, you lose. I don't know. Maybe that's what he's talking about. Well, you can go forward a bit, but. Ah, okay. So, I mean, the asteroids do move. Ah! <laughs> I'll leave it as an exercise to the reader. <laughs> <laughs> So, trying a different tactic on the last wave is not a it's good not, idea. No, I wasn't trying yeah. to suggest you, you do that. Yeah. But that's probably a way faster way to finish, like get through a level. Yeah. To um, accelerate a little bit. Because I've been doing it at the slowest speed. That's true. I'm just going to... It is. It's a really great game. I'm just going to speed through the first level. See how Do you want to skip to wave is. five? No. We've seen Are all the sure? waves. We've seen all the waves. Well, you want to try to get to the end? If you skip to wave five... There you go. There you go. Well, it's an animation. Whoa, cool. Oh, cool. That was your portal. Yeah. Very nice. So, we're going to go fast speed. It is much Play harder with it to a little hit. bit. Okay. To avoid an unintentional collision while your shot is reloaded, try to shoot only when you have a target in your crosshairs. And dead. Uh, <laughs> keep the fire button pressed continuously only if there are aligned asteroids. To get more points during a match, try to shoot only the faster asteroids and faster enemies. Yeah. They are worth more points, and this will make them return faster so you can destroy them again. It's the best tactic anyway, because the faster ones... Are more trouble. ...are going to destroy your 
Earth faster, Earth faster yeah. than any other asteroid. Very true. So it kind of works in all ways. So is this actually faster? Ooh, if you were taken is. by surprise by the giant asteroid at the end of the wave and failed to destroy it in time, your only alternative is to save time by colliding with it and avoid the game over. Oh. So you will oh. have another opportunity to it with another fleet ship. Oh. But I mean, that tends to be what happened because you tend to stand right in front of it as it as it yes. tries to collide with you. Yes. So that makes sense. Um, oh, 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 for even good. more points, expert players can attempt suicide by crashing their, crashing their spaceship into a giant asteroid at the end of the wave. This will cause the wave asteroid count to return a level, so you can compute more points by again destroying a wave of asteroids. Yeah, if you're going for points. Uh, the higher the wave is, the more points the artifice will give you. Repeat as many times as you have courage, but make sure you have enough spaceships <laughs> to save the Earth. I wouldn't say this moving faster actually makes the level that much faster. No? I was expecting to be like half the time, but it's no. barely going down. Oh, you missed it! I barely missed yeah, see, I feel like if you're at the left-hand side... What? 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 I'm just getting it out of your hand, my hand so I can do things. So, very, very cool. Um, thank you so much for sending this game in. Oh, that's um, awesome. The packaging looks amazing and the game plays really well i love mm -hmm. the warp um the warp is really cool i love the speeding up stars and the and whole thing definitely not going to be bored playing this game because yeah. there is so much going on on the screen i'm glad they added the power up mm. to it because that adds a lot to the gameplay um being able to shoot things a lot faster oh yeah um speeding up would have been good to make the level just a good be over a little bit faster than that i think because it is quite a bit more challenging and you do let it buy more asteroids but still any kind of speed up is helpful um so let's just try this with the music so there you go music turn off, off the music i don't know if the difficulty i'm just gonna ah. reset you reset I'll from the beginning? On the harder difficulty. Okay. And we'll go to warp five again. Alrighty. Just so you can compare the difficulty. This nice. is the hard I difficulty. Like that. Is yeah. it? Oh no. Oh my gosh, it's so slow. <laughs> the shots. <gasps> so now you don't want to hold it down because no. your shots are slow. You have to be very deliberate with it. I see. Oh, that's very slow. It's like you don't get another shot until you hit something. Or it goes off the screen. Yeah. That is that is like Atari 2600 hard. <laughs> That's old school hard. That's old school yeah. hard, yeah. Yeah. Uh, MCP90 says, I hope for a future ROM release for PAL PAL 60 machines too. PAL 60 would be perfect. Yeah, PAL 60 covers everything. Well, you're very welcome, Ricardo Pim. Thank you for letting us ah! play this. You could have fed forward. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us play this, uh, play the game early, and being able to highlight it on the show. Mm -hmm. Oh, a did lot you... of fun. So we're going to go on to Cave Rescue, another exclusive mm. uh, that we're so lucky to play. Mm. Uh, this is by Nathan Vasconcelos. 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 Uh, put out by ERA Games <laughs> Homebrew. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Difficult. Uh, first posted August 29th, uh, 23rd, 2019. This build is mm. from November 9th, 2020, a couple days ago. It's a 16K game. Other games he's made, Cave Rescue and Beast. The Beast is the one where he's running along the surface and you can climb down. Mm. And you have to punch things, stop and punch things. Uh, very strange game. I always found that game very strange. You had to stop, punch things. But that's how it was in the original like Amiga version of it. Mm. But anyway... Um, you can download the, the very old version of this game from Game Jolt, if you want to load it up. Cave Rescue. Um, so we last played this September 18th. Wait one second. Uh, September 18th, 2019. So mm -hmm. it's been quite a while, actually, since we played it. Cave Rescue. Mm -hmm. On a distant human colony. You read it out. <laughs> Aliens launched a surprise attack. 
They destroyed several cities and the survivors took refuge in a large cave in the hope that something or someone will save them as soon as possible. Because more aliens are approaching and they do not come in peace. <laughs> Very nice. I, I helped him with the English translation of that. Oh, did you? <laughs> yes. I nice. love the font. Really yeah, compact. Yeah. It's like three pixels across. Oh, the fonts are great. Three pixels across yeah. and like five high. Mm. Um, so this game will be put out by ERA Games Homebrew in Brazil, and uh, they posted some great artwork mm. on their Facebook page, which I'm guessing they'll be turning into a bo to box art. Nice. Um, so we're just going to take a quick look at that um, before we start the game. <laughs> to make sure I'm not showing anything weird. So there's <laughs> actually we can just do this. There's the box there's the artwork that they've put up. Mm. Um, and this shows pretty much everything that's in the game. You're in a cave, you're that ship, and you're rescuing people, mm. and there's baddies coming hey, after you. Baddies. Yep. Um, so let's get into the game. And we also have the printed manual for this, which I also um, helped with the English translation. Nice. And we also have a Q&A from the developer, too. Oh, good stuff. So, if you want to start the game... I have not played this game before. <laughs> okay. Rescue people. Mm -hmm. Don't touch the walls. Okay. Shoot the baddies. Don't touch the baddies. There's moving things you don't want to touch either. Okay. That's pretty much the basics. You'll... I'll figure it out? You'll figure it out from okay. there. Yeah. So there you're being dropped off, and there's your ship. Okay. And each level has a different name. This is Dracon level. Oh, I see. So yeah, just... Don't touch the sides. You will crash. And it's kind of a, a mazy thing. Okay. It's fairly guided maze at first, so it's not too many passages. To not many, of, too, too yeah. many options. Cave rescue story in a distant human colony called Sagan 202. Aliens made a surprise attack. Don't touch the walls. I know. Um, they destroyed several cities, and survivors took refuge in a huge cave, hoping that someone, something or someone will save them as soon as possible, because the aliens are approaching and they do not come in peace. Shoot and move. That are the, that is the controls. Joystick moves the ship in four directions, and shoot, game resets, restarts the game. Asteroids attack and cave rescue. Nice games, yes. Hamilton Morale, Moraz, Moraes, yes. Um... So, difficulty switches. Oh, you might be on hard. Now you're on easy. I don't know if it affects the game. Uh, once you're in it. Usually it doesn't. It only checks it at the beginning of the game. So your objective. Your mission is to find and rescue six survivors mm. that are hidden in this huge cave. To find them, you must explore five regions. When you find the first survivor, you must take him to the mothership. That is the beginning of... Uh, of your uh, adventure. When you touch it with the survivor on board, the rescue will be made. After which you must repeat the process until all six survivors are rescued. Just skirt the wall there. Yeah. Oh, no, you got a pixel. Um, I keep you that will, pixel. Yeah. You will notice that your ship supports only one person Ooh. at a time. I need, like, so fuel it, or something. Uh, that's time, I think. So as recommended... Well, we'll get to what that is, actually. Let's see. Oh, there's a person! Uh, energy bar. How did I miss that person? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Go, go get him. I think that was in the first screen. Didn't explore all your areas. Mm. Gotta go back. Yeah, your energy's low. You may get energy when you return to the ship. Dead. Dead! Dead. <laughs> Use up all the letters, all, all six right. letters. Excellent. I think you have to press okay. reset. Let's try that again. Yeah, the font on press fire button is awesome. Somebody mm. said that. I love before. these fonts too. And the, the gradation in the color. Yep. Beautiful. And the little lines. I think it's straight down. Oh, yeah. You, you lose 
energy every time you do something. Um, the shooting, yeah, you want to be really deliberate with the shooting. Yeah, the first guy's straight down. Is I think he? he went to the right first. Well, I didn't know. Oh, not supposed to. Uh, okay. So. Did you crash into a wall? Yes, I did. I was just slightly off there. Terrible. So in the bottom left is how many rescued survivors you have. You'll see that fill up as soon as you get one. Um, then the bottom is energy bar. And then the name of the region, Gagos. Gagos. I love it. <laughs> Do not be alarmed if you cannot find the survivor in the place where you'd found him in a previous match, because every time the game is restarted, a random version of his position is defined. Yeah. So you have to take him back to your ship now. Oh, do I? Yep. Uh, in this mission, you must pay attention to three things. The fuel, the walls, and the aliens. When the ship shoots or moves from one area to the other, it loses some fuel. Mm, maybe so I shouldn't be, be shooting. Maybe I should be avoiding. Yeah, if you can avoid, that's probably better. Because yeah. you'll keep your fuel. But do I get fuel when I go back to the ship? We will find out. Yeah. I mean, everything seems to respawn. Yep. Okay, good. Excellent. So you only need enough fuel to get to the person and back. Yeah. Um, the ship... Nice. Uh, if it runs out, the ship will hit the ground and be destroyed if you lose all your fuel. It will also be destroyed when it collides with the walls of the cave or when it is attacked by aliens. If the ship is destroyed... This one's a little bit quieter. I'm going to turn it up. And the player has one or more extra lives. The ship appears near the start of the game or near the last activated checkpoint. So it does have checkpoints. Uh, with one extra life or less. One extra life less. Uh, game modes. To the, select the desired game mode, you must set difficulty left switch to A to play in hard mode, or B to play in normal mode. Normal mode, in this game there are extra lives, two checkpoints. At the beginning, the enemies move slowly and there are barriers that prevent the enemy from getting too far from the next survivor. Hard mode, in this mode there are no extra lives, just a checkpoint. Enemies are fast, there are no barriers, which will make the easy, player easy, more easily lost. This is the checkpoint? Yeah. Oh, you get your fuel back, too. Excellent. Oh. No. Oh, daddy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Into the wall. So that guy is named a stalker. So at least you have to... Shoot him? Nope. Oof. Oof. So close. So that guy's a stalker. He doesn't seem to be stalking right now, but... He was... Blocked, but... A blind but highly aggressive species. It attacks fiercely when it notices the presence of an enemy. Mm. So it didn't notice you yet. Oh, my God. I know. Then there's a blocker, kind of passive alien, which does not seek to attack directly. And its intention is to block passages, which is most of the guys you've encountered. Mm. And this... Is a stalker. Oh, is it's a stalker. So at some point, I guess he'll go after you. Yeah. So be prepared. Oh, you can't shoot him yet. Mm hmm. But you will have to shoot him. Oh, yeah, that's fast. That is fast. Um, and then there's a teleporter, which we have not encountered yet. Smarter species, and in an inexplicable way, it manages to teleport. Like the ship, he seeks to find survivors to eliminate them. Uh, caves. Your adventure will take place in a huge cave in the basement of a human colony. The cave is divided into five regions, which are Dracon, moist, covered with moss, as a result of an experiment that sought to expand the vegetation on the site. So you're in Raydor now, extremely hot, with magma running down the walls. Its average temperature is 80 degrees centigrade. So it's different sections of the map. Just point. Mm, don't get too close. I, I, That's how do you how do you stay up do at that? the top? Like you're getting pretty close but down. I, I'm trying to get as close to the wall as I can. I'm dead now. Okay. Cool. My turn. Very very cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna be right back. Hold on. Okay. Very very. Cool. This game would give me Earthworm Jim submarine stage feelings. Oh, gotta go fast, but also don't touch anything. I don't think the thing's a timer. It goes down when you move and goes down when you shoot. So...
So I'm not sure it goes down when you're not shooting or moving. So I'm just going to not shoot this guy. Not, whoa. not that I don't have a lot of time for the first guy. Because I do. So now it shows that I've rescued one guy. I believe the next one, the only way, is over here. That's the only path. You have to shoot this guy. You can run into the debris. Some games, if you run into the destruction of the enemy, oh, nothing, you will die. But in this one, you can, luckily. I'd like to see some uh, inertia on the ship. Ah. That would make it a lot harder. Yeah, some games have inertia and some don't. It's definitely... This is more like it's moving along the ground on a path. I mean, it's definitely flying as per the instructions, which would indicate there should be inertia. But there isn't. There. So that's what you gotta do. You just don't get too close. Even though he hasn't noticed me that I'm shooting him. <laughs> so it says the people... Oh, there we go. So I have to go all the way back to my ship. And shoot everything that's in the way. On the, on the way back, too. This guy's gonna be... Oh, as long as you don't get too close. Okay. And it's this way. It's up. Oh, mazes are not my friend. I do not enjoy mazes. This maze is not too bad, especially when it has different colors. Oh my god. Should I shoot this guy? No. I don't need to shoot this guy. How's it going? Well, two guys. You got two? Where did so the other far. one come from? So how did you defeat that stalker thing? You just don't get close. Oh. Shoot it from as far away as possible. Do you have to hit it once or twice? Or? Uh, normal four shots. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of shots. Then you have to go this way. These guys aren't hard, though. No, I just avoid them. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes more sense than using a very I few. believe... There's nothing above, is there? That's a dead end. Yeah. So you always go back through this. But I think there was some comment there that you can... Uh, they might change to where they were? I don't know. The... Yeah, the... Um, the where the guys are will change. Yeah. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what? What am I doing? Are you? From the top, or where'd you get... Uh, I would uh, read out the different uh, levels. Cave? Your adventure will take place in a huge cave in the basement of a human colony. This cave is divided into five regions, which are Dracon, moist, covered with... Oh, you already mentioned this. Some of these. You got to read or extremely hot with magma running down its walls. Its average temperature is 80 degrees centigrade. Centigrade. For those Americans, that's hot. <laughs> yes. Very, very hot. Very hot. Uh... Nokos, the most beautiful of all regions, composed of purple crystals that are highly valued elsewhere on the planet. Oh Looks boy. like it's made of amethyst. Oh, he jumps around. Yeah, I don't know if I should be shooting him or just kind of memorizing and avoiding him. You might be able to. Um, a tonar, very cold, precisely because it is close to the pole. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm very, very nice. lost now. Yeah, well, that happens. And I'm gonna die, because I'm gonna run out of fuel. Yeah. Oh, you ran into a wall. Fair? No. <laughs> Very unfair. So credits, programming. Nathaniel Vasconcello Letiano? <laughs> I hope I said that right. Or close, at least remotely close. 
Distribution, ERA Games Homebrew, Art, Luis Fernando, and thanks to Leandro Camara, Camara, Darcio Prestes, uh, ooh, I don't know how to pronounce the A with the I'm just tilde. just in a circle? I don't know. Calbi, Juan, whoa, Calbi, and James O'Brien. <gasps> I was thanked. Well, Homebrew thank you. Brazil, very nice. Very, 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 very cool. We'll see yep. if James oh, uh, makes through it through. This. Oh no, you haven't, no. This is at least a different area. Still have, oh boy. Mm. Let's back off a bit from this guy. Cats? Yeah. There's this, a gray cat who wants the in. beautiful area, this one? Yes, yes, that it looks very like nice. amethyst. It's like an amethyst cave. Hi, Atari. Oh, Atari. Come here. There's a pretty black and white one. And then there's the cuddly and sweet gray Atari cat. Okay. Dead ends everywhere I go. Uh-oh. And I'm running yes. out of... Because I had to shoot that guy. Running out of energy. And, like, oh, it's all dead ends. So that was a, a complete dead end? That whole area? Yeah, looks like it. You need to go back to your ship. I don't know if that gives you all the fuel back. No? It should. Or you, or is or is the guy in the ship like, oh, you didn't bring a guy back. I'm not giving you any more. No. Die in your ship. Yep. Yeah, I'm about to die. I can't even make it back. C is like S. No, I get the C. It's the A with the tilde. On. Or not the tilde. The hat? The, 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 I'm not saying it right, but anyway. <laughs> Circumflex? No. <laughs> no. I know the French signs, just not the... Is it not a French? It's a different thing from French? Uh, it's the wavy line. Oh. Uh, I forget it, what you call that. Is it over that. an N? No. Oh. A was over an A. I, that is not in Spanish, I don't think. I don't... Uh, yeah, I just don't know what that, that is. <laughs> yeah, the, the... It's only in Portuguese. Like, façon is S C with the... With the yeah. Anyway, I, 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 my lack of language knowledge is pretty immense. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad. Yeah. I'm sure I just went through all of this, and it's all a dead end. Oh, sweetie. Yeah. Oh, dead. I love the dead. <laughs> I got a one heart left. Now, this is the wrong way. This is... You want to go somewhere else, for yeah. sure. Let's go down. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, yes, oh I, I haven't seen this yeah, before. This is Get him. Hi. Hi, Atari. I mean, this oh. is a game where you want to make a map. Yeah. For sure. Because... Can I shoot through that? No. Ooh. It's, like, blocked. Uh. Maiden says, thanks, Tanya and James, for showing my game. Uh, it's oh, our it's... pleasure, completely. Yeah. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Now you have to get him back. Do, do I just take him back to the flag, or does he have to go all the I way back to the ship? I think he has to go to the ship. But um, I think you have to go to the, back to the flag anyway. You have a fair amount of... Did you go left or up? I think he went... left. Did you? I thought you went... Oh, there's yeah. the... Yeah, and then... Is it down? Or... The thing know. is... After... <gasps> No. The thing is, after you rescue the guy. <laughs> oh uh, no, you're starting over. Yeah. Did you read that? Andrew Davy. Obrigado, thank you. Hugo Game. My Portuguese is improving <laughs> rapidly. <laughs> Obrigado. <laughs> Obrigado. Wego. Wego? Wego. No! Fabi Seldi says oh, yes. So no. close! <laughs> so, so close, close to getting three guys. I think you can get it this time, though. Yeah. You know where they are. Oh, Somewhere. you're so... Oh, I don't think goodness. they're random. At least the first one doesn't seem random. No, I don't think they're random. Well, maybe, maybe they do change. Maybe on the hard version it's random? Maybe. Yeah, you're on easy, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't want to play hard. This is hard enough. Okay, first guy got. Oh, Bo Paco, trying to imagine the best joystick to play this game. Um, a very uh, sensitive precise one. Precise one. I, I even like a D pad would might be no, no, not a D pad. I wouldn't play, but that's my preference. Or if, buttons, like a button D pad. Uh, I don't know, but you know what I mean. D pad. No, no, but you know when it's buttons, like they're left, that's right, up, down, like it's rare. very precise. That's pretty rare. Well, I know. That's like it Switch. Happens. 
The switch is the only thing that has that. Yeah, this, the, yeah, yeah. Is it up or down? Up, down, left, right? No, no, no. In this, where I'm getting the next guy. I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know. I didn't see you get the next guy, uh, so I only know the third guy. Pretty sure it's over here. Game Jogo. Okay. Or Yogo. Yeah. Yogo. Yeah. Well, when we when we travel to Brazil and visit all the game designers, <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll have to learn some Portuguese. some Portuguese. <laughs> it's on our list of places to go. Uh, well, I mean, so many South American countries. Yeah, it's a lot to visit down there. Oh, there is. Yeah, that is on our list, though. Yeah, Brazil and Colombia and Venezuela. We have to see. And... You can't be part of the Americas and not go all the Americas. That's the way I see it. But yeah, something precise. You don't want things that get sticky. You want something clicky, I think. Mm. Something clicky so you can hear the precision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That one's not too bad. Oh, this one's perfect for it. Yeah. Like it's very. It's got a nice precise click. movement. So yeah. it is a little sensitive. Like you push a little far sometimes, mm. but. Yeah. But, but anyway, I'm, I'm used to it now. Less precise, but it's nice. Yeah, it's very precise. Miss <laughs> Command says, I would love to see Machu Picchu. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that looks very nice. Yeah. It looks like full of tourists. So. Well, it's very accessible. It looks Machu like Picchu? it's not, but, it but is. there's just tons of people there mm. all the time. Uh, I think I'm going to the right. Yes. And then I go to the right some more, because down mm. is a dead end. Mm -hmm. And then it's down, mm. and it is in this area. It is. And is it down? I think it's down. I think so, too. I think we have to kill this dude, and then... Nope. Nope. I'm surprised he doesn't immediately shooting go is, for you. Shooting uses up a lot. Oh, it does. A lot. So if you don't have to yeah. shoot... Oh, there oh, he is. He's right there. Okay, good. Now you have to shoot him again, I think. Nope. Oh, no. Nope. No. Just can't. You don't get too close to him. You have to scale the walls. So once you kind of know where the guys are and you get used to the maze a bit more... You're, like, very aggressive there. Be careful. <laughs> um... You can get the first three guys fairly quick. I don't know where the fourth guy is. Oh, there's a fourth guy? I thought six there were just them. three. There's six. Six guys. <laughs> there's a lot of dudes. Yay! Uh, right. And this guy could be anywhere. He could be there. Oh, <laughs> he, 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 they spawned. That's what he was saying. It's yeah. uh, before oh. he <gasps> wasn't the there. The enemies change. Oh, Oh, crap. God. How am I going to get this guy? That's going to be hard. You have to run away from him? He's very fast. You have to run down as fast as you can? I don't know. <gasps> I thought I could go down just a no. touch more. Can you go down fast? I don't want to risk it. So if you go oh. along the wall, it's... Oh, he's fast now. Now I might have to shoot him. What do you think? Yeah. Mm, you know where the guy nah. is, though? He's not far. <gasps> what are you doing? He's not uh, far. So you, you're going to make it back. Oh, oh I see shot. what you mean. Yeah, he's not far. Oh, okay. You're just up and around, so... So it's not the speed. Mm. This ball's coming off. MCP90 says, to make this game more intriguing, it'd be nice if there was a timer that converts to points. Timer? Oh, oh yeah. like so what you, you have left. Depending on how quickly you, you complete it. Well, I mean, basically, your timer is kind of running out with your... With your is there your even fuel, points? Your fuel, in a way. There's no points in this game. No, there isn't, yeah. It's Which I don't of, mind. It's a yay or nay. It's like you pass or you don't, so... Yep. The points are how many guys you rescue, yeah. really. Oh, that's good. I guess I'm going to have to shoot him. But you know he's right there, so it's not not too bad when you know he's close uh, by. I can't shoot him twice. He's too fast. 
Oh there yeah. There we go. Back and forth. Whoa. You know, you suddenly realize your nose is pressed up against the cave cave wall. What? I thought that was. Oh, he must be around even more. He must be even further up. Oh no. Okay. Uh, well, if you hit the flag, you can get more fuel back. So. Do you? Yes, you do. Your oh. fuel completely replenishes the first time you hit the checkpoint. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Did I not already hit the checkpoint? I, I don't think know. I did. Uh, you went back, so maybe oh, you can hit it again. Oh, that's faster too. Look at that. Maybe you can hit it again. Maybe. Oh, these I guys are fast. Out. You can get past them though. Yeah. That guy's fine. It's not too bad. Yeah. It yep. restarts. Okay, yep. okay. Yeah. But you have to make it all the way back. Yeah. I think you this... have to go up here. I yeah. think this that's how you get to that dude. At least I don't have to shoot every single guy. I do have to shoot that guy. Yeah. He is right in the way. Okay, so, so you think he's over? Maybe. Or I... he could be up and over, but it's really hard to tell. I think he's He could be up. I bet he's I bet he's down. I'm gonna have to shoot this guy. Oh no! At least you have no. the checkpoint. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god. Almost went, ran into him. Thank you. Dinosaur Gamer 80 Excellent. for following. Glad you're enjoying the show. Mm -hmm. Okay, my dinosaur. Rawr. Uh, dinosaur Gamer 80. Yeah. <laughs> Rawr. Is that what the name was? Yeah. Yep. Dinosaur Gamer 80. Okay, so is he over this way or do I have to go down one? Yay! Woohoo! I think I know the way back. Woohoo! Do I have enough fuel? It's gonna be low on fuel. Then it's to the right. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, I should be able to get this dude from the edge. Just. Just. Oh, I think you, you probably could have gotten. No, he's right on the edge. No, no, I mean like, yeah, you, you were just, you're in the right spot. Oof. Shame you can't get ah! again. I know. But he's that's very close to the ship. So is the ship over? Oh, I can't remember. Nope. No. It's up. Oh. It's up? Yeah. Positive he's up. He didn't hit that guy. Yeah. yeah. That was make close. it back. And it's over. I have enough. Oh, do you? I have to shoot this guy though. I may not have enough actually. I don't think so. I don't think that's a good idea. I have to. You can't. No, you can get down and then. I have oh. enough. I have enough. Oh, no, I don't think you do. It's right up there. Is it? No. Oh, it's not. No. Oh. Good game. Yes. It does get, <laughs> does get increasingly harder. It is. It's very cool. And you do want to not shoot guys. You don't want to shoot anything. It uses up a lot. If you can sneak past them. Yeah. Some of them you appear to be able to sneak past. Like this guy, you you snuck past him. He yes, didn't go yeah, after you can you. because he's kind of in the middle and you can get yeah. around him. Um, Interesting. I love the dead. If I was going to play this game fully, like <laughs> yeah. start to finish, Beginning I would tent. map it completely. Like entrance, yeah. entrance, entrance. Yeah. yeah. Each square where they map out, so I can oh, minimize. Like, what's the fun in that? Because I don't like mazes. You have it's to so memorize hard. it as you go. Dead. It's <laughs> so funny. So is there anything else to look at in the game? Can you look, give me the instructions? I, I, read, I read all the instructions out, or what was left there, but here. Is there anything we need to explore? Uh, I mean, I think the hard version just use up your fuel more. I can't imagine actually playing this on the hard when it was like that. Let's see. Let's see how fast the fuel goes when you shoot. I'll shoot something. 
Well, it's the same. Is this hard still? Not. I just put it on the hard level. Oh, they probably start fast. Oh, yeah. they're fast. They, they oh, start fast. They start on yeah. like the fourth collecting nice. guy speed. Yeah. I see. And then they probably get faster. Nice. I don't think it goes down in your ammo. Oh, that's quite a chunk. Mm. I think it's the same though. Yeah? Yeah, you lose quite a bit when, when you shoot. That's why I was telling you, don't shoot him. Get past him. Because <laughs> right. you lose it That's really fast. Let me see it again on the easy. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Yeah, I okay. think it's just the, the, the baddies move faster. Yeah. yeah. Very good challenge. Uh, I love the maze aspect to it and yeah. rescuing and going back and the checkpoint. Yes. And Sandra Saldi says, you did very well, James. I not, Three first try. You got three rescues on your first try. Bad. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't my first try. Well. It was like my second, but it, yeah. I did pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Um, but there's a lot of room for advanced playing, that's for sure. Oh, like, yeah. Like, there's three more to get. What, that's good. I almost got the fourth one, right? So, yeah. So there's two more after that, and I'm guessing there's another speed level where it gets even faster, mm. right? So we're going to move on to uh, game number three, mm. which is on the Atari 7800. Um, so I will give you a joystick. Mm -hmm. ah, monster joystick. And I will have this joystick. And where's my notes? Your what? Too many things. What are you Where's looking my tablet? for? Oh, it's here. Oh, you stole it. No, I just moved it out of the way. There's stolen. a cat. Stolen. The cat wanted a spot, so I Aww. moved the tablet. Yeah, Atari cat. Um, oh, uh, and I forgot the Q&A. Oh! Um, so, how about you play, and I will do the Q&A while, while we do this. The Q&A for this game? Yeah. Okay. So, so you can just play once more. Sure. And when I'm finished the Q&A, we'll move on. Okay. Oh, cat. Is it on easy or is it on hard? It is on easy. Okay. And then we'll move on. Okay. Um, so the Q&A uh, with Nathan Vasconcelos from Brazil. Where did the idea for Cave Rescue come from? The idea for the game came up spontaneously spontaneously when I was studying programming for the Atari 2600. But I can't deny that I had some games as inspiration like Adventure and Hero. Very adventure-like, where you're going through different uh, single screen. Very mazy. And, uh, yeah, Hero has the aspect of rescuing the guys, right? Mm -hmm. Um What is your background in programming? What other systems have you made games for? For a long time, I only created games for PC. But in the last two years, I'm dedicating myself to creating games for a console that I love, which is the Atari 2600. Nice. In addition to it, I also intend to create games for the Sega Genesis. Nice. Oh, wow. Usually I don't see a lot of crossover there between 2600 program yeah. and Genesis. It's like 2600 and NES because because they use the same chipset. I'm not sure what chip the Genesis uses, but it's not the 6502. So no. that's probably why you see all the the similar games being grouped together, especially when you're programming an assembly. Um, what updates have you done since the public release of the game on the G Game Jolt website? This new version of Cave Rescue is actually a remake of the old version, which has many similarities, but also many new features. One of the new features is linked to the most important part of the gameplay, which is the rescue of survivors. In this new version, they were scattered throughout the cave and the player must pick them up and take them back to the mothership. Or novelty, uh, another novelty is a checkpoint, something something else is new, I guess. Uh, the checkpoint flags that serve to mark a position on the map, which ensures that if the player dies, he returns to where uh, they are, which is very helpful. And also helps you guide you back to where your ship is, too. Yeah. Because the... Is that a new place? I don't know. Oh, is that number two? That was my number two. Yeah. Um... Yeah, the flag is very helpful and and very, very, um, for the fuel and for navigation, it's great. Um, when will the game be released? Will it come with a box and manual? Near Christmas this year, and yes, it will be released in physical media, cartridge, manual, and box, which we took a look at. Very nice. And 30 yeah. of them. Um, do you have any ideas for new, more games that you're working on for the 2600? That's a cat, don't worry. 
Um, <laughs> after Cave Rescue is released, he says, yes, right now I'm working on another game for the 2600 with a very different uh, proposal than Cave Rescue. In the near future, I will talk more about it. Mm. Okay, you're done. No, what? <laughs> oh, you're done? Yep. Oh. It's the end of the interview. Oh. Okay. So, I, know, I know we have limited time, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, we have unlimited time, but limited attention span of our audience. <laughs> very true. Okay. <laughs> very, very, very fun. Very cool. Yeah. Um, so the next game is Danger Zone by Lewis Hill, Muddy Fun, <sighs> a.k.a. Muddy Funster. Nice. This is the 2020 exclusive final release for the game. <laughs> so this was first posted May 13th, 2020. Yeah. Um, but then on the forum in October 19th, this build is from November 13th. That's today. Nice. It's brand new. Ooh, that's really Fresh new. out of the oven. Yes. It's a 48K game. Other games he's made. Danger Zone for the 7800. Daredevil. Mm -hmm. EXO for the 7800. Track and Field for the 7800. Tire Tracks. Sonic Runner for the 7800. And Space Bank. Which I don't have not played Space Bank. I'll have to check that out. Um, availability of this, there is a beta, an early beta version, which is close to the one we played last time, I think. Mm -hmm. um, the last time we played it was October 27th. Not very long ago. Mm. Um, I remember playing it. It was not that long ago. So this is, he, he said last time that he nicknames them all after planes. This one is Tornado. Oh. This one's, there's a plane called Tornado. Uh, release candidate 2E. Are you leaving again? I just want to see what the cat is doing. Sounds like a spring. Oh, we got into the bedroom. Probably because the door's open. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I asked him, uh, is there going to be a physical release? Because somebody asked in on Facebook whether there's going to be a physical release. It says, yes, I'd like that, but it's something I'd need to discuss with Al, of course. Okay. If people think it's good enough would like to buy it, great. S. Ramirez suggests that... Uh, a danger zone patch if we did do a physical oh, release for it. Oh, that would be it. cool. <laughs> and I think that's a great idea. Yes. Um, we'd probably ship it in the box, say for the first 25 or so. Mm -hmm. No, make people earn it. Earn it. Earn the patch. Don't just ship it out. <laughs> um, uh, if, if we go ahead, subject to them not being too expensive. Um, and I hooked them up with the guys that are making patches, Roger Poco and Machine. Mm. Um, you know, the guys that... Uh, Sent me all these patches. Mm. So he's going to message those guys. Mm. All these awesome patches here. Of which cool. I just finished writing the Kebabber Kabashers patch letter. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe I'll read that next show. Okay. Um, and I'm going to be doing the Ghostbusters patch next. Nice. nice. Yep. Which um, Dan Kitchen made that port. Oh, the really? 2600 oh, Ghostbusters cool. port, if nice. I'm correct. Um, yeah, I'm sure he did. Um, this ROM is likely to be the final version unless further, tester, fur, further testing uncovers any bugs. So let's check it out. And I think I have it loaded. So, or ne near loaded. Oh, the, the problem with this program this emulator is that it takes over your mouse. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And you can't move. Oh, there we go. Is that gonna be good? I think so. Uh, one second. Can this go up more? Oh, there we go. I got it now. Takes a little bit to center because it's in an emulator and I have to put it in a window. And we'll change the graphics. What is what that? What are you doing? doing? Cat is up to no good. What are you doing? <laughs> Boxes in the hallway, huh? Here's a bad kitty. What are you doing, good buddy? You wanna play some video games? You wanna play some danger talk? So we're gonna restart this. I'm gonna call you Maverick. Crazy things. <laughs> well, I want to 
restart it. Oh. Reset. It's T. Oh, God. Ugh. Okay, good. Not mouse Y. No, not mouse Y at all. Delete. There we go. Now what is it doing? What is it doing? Okay, is this gonna work? Stay on this screen! Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Still plays the music. Okay. Can I not have it grab my mouse? That would help like a million times. so hard. Can you... It reloads all, in its own... First of all, I'm blowing, own, uh... blowing their eardrums. That's Are you? <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh my goodness. Cause it's really cool intro, and you guys gotta see it. <laughs> but it just misbehaves completely because of it doesn't it doesn't understand like screens. <sighs> Mode rom no. T is restart, but it doesn't restart the whole thing oh, from load. It restarts like. Yeah. What it's programmed to. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night, Sandra. Good night, Sandra. Um, okay, what I'm gonna have to do is restart it. Oh, sorry. Not Sandra. <laughs> and move it over really quickly. God damn it. Move it. There. Yeah, you're good. No, but it missed the plane flying by. Oh, there's a plane flying by? <laughs> <laughs> I missed the plane flying by. Well, just watch when I load it. Watch when I load it. There. Oh. Shh. 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 Plays me there. Make yeah. a noise. Make a I'm noise. Make noise. You can hear it just fine. <laughs> okay. We're good now. <laughs> I, I just wanted you guys to see mm. the intro and. When you load a ROM, it's like, oh, you want to go back to screen number one? Okay, because I've got three Ugh. screens, right? It, which kind of makes sense, but it should remember, like, you were on screen three. Well, it shouldn't re, re, like it bring it back bleh, to your main screen. Throws it to screen one immediately. It drives me crazy. Uh. Anyway, it's not the game. It's the emulator. Yeah. Okay, so. Here. Move it along. Move it along. <laughs> Did it forget all my... Oh, I'm sure it did. All my inputs as well? Or am I just not focused on it? No. Oh, oh, oh. No, we're good. Okay. okay. Do I get one too? Yes, you do. Okay. Sorry for the annoyance and uh, confusion. Ow. <laughs> sure else. Um, there's a chance that one more feature may make it in. I'm testing that at the moment. I'm not sure if it makes the game more fun, but for now this is final. So what has been added? Pretty much all the features that were working on the drawing board last time you tested it are now in, tested and working as game options. New list of features changes as follows. Default setting is in bold, which I don't have because it's somewhere else. Uh, fuel, limited or unlimited. You go back. Just go left. Oh, B button. Oh. What are you trying to do? Go back. 
Uh, fuel limited or unlimited? Distracting me. Oh, Let's go to the setup. Let's go to the setup. You can read, and I can I can <laughs> click through it. <laughs> Where's the settings? Oh no. It's what are there. those controllers? I don't recall seeing them. They are USB controllers. They yes. And uh, for they are massive. They're arcade sticks. They're basically concrete blocks with with some. They are Hori inputs on it. Hori Real Arcade Pro EX. And they are for the Xbox 360. Ooh, they, I did not mean to do that. Why are you pressing buttons? There we go. No, it's fine. <laughs> Bad as the cats. I didn't know that did something. That's brand new. <laughs> I'm going to kick you out of the room and shut the door. <laughs> I didn't know it did that. So this is player one. I think it's me. Uh, yeah, your player one. Gold. Let's see if he added more planes. <laughs> Don't know if he added more planes. Okay, I'm gonna have to read this out. Mm. Here, you play with it. I think you can control it there. Mm -mm. No? Okay, you get this joystick. Mm? You start playing. I'll read it. I'll be reading. Um, fuel limited or unlimited? Uh, limited fuel when you use your boost. Your fuel is depleted when it's gone. It's gone. Ammo. Ammo can be set to unlimited. It can be limited to 30, 20, or 10 shots. When your ammo is gone, you have to wait for the other player to also deplete their ammo. Need full control. Up, down, left, right. Play. Button. Um, Keep talking. <laughs> gun range. Normal or long does what it says on the tin. Guided ammo. Yes or no. Bullet wrap. Does a bullet wrap around the screen? Because last time it just went off the screen and just stopped. Um, time of day, day, night, and sunset. I know he changed the night to be something different. Nighttime now has UI and bullet fixes so the bullets are more visible. Here we are. Here's all the options I'm reading out right now. Keep talking. Uh, game type. Okay, got carried away here. Mm. Six options. Timed game, two minutes, one minute and 30, three minutes, or scored game, first to five, 10, or 20. Um... So let's do night, because I think that's been the most updated. So what do you want to do? Time? To five points to 10 to 20, or time to game. Let's do time to game. Sure. Let's try three minutes. Okay. Let's do a long one. Last but not least, colli collision. <gasps> Ooh, sorry. <laughs> so I'm the orange and black. Yes. Oh, you have steered bullets on here. Ah! Oh, you're in now. Steered bullets are trouble for you. Yeah, that's true. You can't steer them too... It's, it's troublesome controlling them. Oh. Ah! <laughs> you're too close to me. So you can I'm press forward trouble. for fuel. Forward for fuel? Yep, to use up your fuel and go faster. Oh. Oh, we both got it there. And we have bullets. We have limited bullets. Ah. It's funny, you're, uh, at night your color disappears. Oh yeah, it goes all that? gray or on I the guess, bottom. I guess... Your top color doesn't. Your bottom color is very washed out. This is more like kind of dusky. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Oh! Got me twice. Got you five times. Six. Oh, come on. Oh, your bullet spins around with you. That's interesting. That might be a bug. Because you shot just as I shot you. Yeah. And your bullet was spinning with you, which is funny. Okay. Ugh. Oh, I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. I have to run from you. Come on, shoot me. We'll see. Okay, okay, one more. There we go. Now I got my bullets back. So I got five oh, bullets. Oh, I see. I have to use up my bullets. Yeah, until I can shoot again. I'll just let you use them up. <laughs> oh, and now I'm out of bullets. Oh. One more. Come on, get me. Get me. Right here. <laughs> right here. Oh, you're such a dick. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes. it's hard to turn around. You can't really turn around. So it's around. got the timer countdown. 
Oh, almost. Didn't quite reach. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, oh! Damn it, out of bullets. One more. 20 seconds. Of course, I'm winning, so I could just avoid you the whole time. True. Well, I'm out of fuel, too. Oh, no, I'm not. You've been using up all your fuel. Me? Yep. That's what happens. And I have bullets back, but there's only one second. Oh. End of match. Player two is the top gun. Nice. nice. Oh. Gotta hit the side. Bye. Good night, Chokey. Hey, Arena Foot's here. Need a cockpit view. <laughs> well, that'll make it yeah. difficult for two players unless you split the screen. You, you could. could. But that'd be a totally yeah. different game. That would take it away from its mm. combat homage that it is. To well, no, you, you, you see the person in the cockpit, like just the face. <laughs> That's not a cockpit view. That's something else. That's like a view of the cockpit. <laughs> yes. Cockpit. Cockpit Previ view. Uh, so collision code. Previously, if your bullet entered the 16 by 6 sprite box of the other player, that was a hit. So it could have kind of missed you, but mm. still hit. Um, that was very loose. For a game like Danger Zone, that wasn't going to pass muster. So I had to rewrite the code to work better. So we'll check out some more options. Mm hmm. Um... To make it more better and accurate was always a plan to revisit. This ended up being a bit of a headache and took me over a five-day period to get it working right. The way I wanted it to do it wouldn't work due to limitations in 7800 Basic. And it wouldn't have been possible without Mike Sarna, Revenge, providing me with a custom version of the 7800 compiler that allowed me to pass a variable to a command that previously only worked with a fixed number of parameter. Can't praise Mike and his support of the 7800 Basic community enough. He really is the top gun. Even then, while it took a while to get the new collision engine working, while battling against the diminishing ROM space for the offsets, the save and load function was dropped to make space. You don't really need save and load when it's just single kind of games. Mm. Um, the latest build has some code refinements that have opened up a few more hundred bytes of space even after the new collision engine. Hence, one more feature might make it in. Until I make those refinements, I was down to four bytes. I couldn't even fit Steve, Ramirez, Trevor, Robert, and Crossbow Jesse on the credits page. Thank them for their diligent testing and feedback. Can you go to the credits? Oh, lots of people on the list. Mm -hmm. All the testers. Um, so this is as close as I can get to Pixel Perfect with the Pixel Perfect. <laughs> yeah, two brothers' names in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, Pixel, perfect. Oh, I lost my spot. <laughs> um, I had some original ideas to include more aircraft for more eras, including biplanes, even a fire-breathing dragon. Oh, wow. Mm. But the design choices I made have high-color sprites. Limited, to be honest. I'm happy what they turned out, although I have plans for the dragon sprite. Hope was, people have as much fun playing as I did making it. Looking forward to the show. Going to be a late one in the UK. Mm. Yeah, it's like uh, 4.13 a.m. an hour now. I oh, think. That's or 313. That's why we have YouTube. <laughs> that's right. Okay, let's play one more. Yeah. Shoki, have a good night. Okay. Ready? See, yep. Let's see what options you've set up for me. So this is dusk. It's, um. Ow. <gasps> it ow, wraps. Ow. It wraps. Ow. Kitten. Sharp claws. Oh, there. I'm the purple cockpit. Yeah. Tanya is the black. Oh! Red. Yeah, and it wraps uh, over the screen. The bullets? Yeah. Oh, I thought they did last time. Nope. Oh. I didn't have that setting last time. I love the sunset. The, ah, the sunset <laughs> is my favorite. So the bullets aren't steerable this time. No. Yeah, the pink clouds I took, are nice. I took away the steerability. <laughs> so it's a little bit harder. And we're playing till what? How many How many points? Uh, 20, I think. 20? Oh yeah, that's okay. I, I, I figured so we have we unlimited have. shots this time. And, and have any landed? You've hit me twice. Oh boy, this is going to be a long game. Oh, we have unlimited fuel too. Yeah. What happens when the fuel dies? You uh, You just can't go faster anymore. Oh. Or I think it might replenish when... Oh. It might replenish when the other person runs out too, but you didn't... I didn't use all mine up. You know what? I think your plane is harder to hit. I think it's thinner. <laughs> uh, 
Is it? And Go yours sideways. and it recovers faster. That's oh, completely I don't know about unfair. That. I don't know. Yeah, about that. you you we we hit each other and you you recovered really? faster than me. Mm. Mm. I'm figuring a few things Mighty out. Mighty Funster here. has to uh, look into that. Well, maybe, maybe that's are, intentional. Maybe the planes are a bit different each. I don't know. Mm. You have to let go of the button <sighs> to shoot again. I, I'm learning that I can't. I hold, really I like. I can't the, hold it down. I have to say the sunset ah. is beautiful. I do like that. It is gorgeous, Muddy Funster. Ah. Nice. If he's not already. In I there. love the title screen. That red sky. I didn't think the 7800 could do graphics like that. Yeah. yeah. It's. He did an amazing title screen. Oh yeah. Oh. I'm doing very badly this time. Okay, let's shoot each other. No, let's shoot each other oh. <laughs> at the same time. So let's get on the same plane. Okay. Let's but opposite go straight. directions. Straight, maybe? Yeah. I will come up to you. Okay. Okay. Okay, next pass. Now. Oh, oh yeah. I you, recovered faster. You recover that time. way faster. So maybe than it's me. it's somewhat random then. Oh it could be. Let's do it again. Okay. Get in the middle here. Ah, come on. Even out. I'm even out. To. It's not evening out. There we go. <laughs> no, you have to go so the opposite nice. direction. I'll turn. Oh. I'll turn. <gasps> Stop. You go left. How All about right. that? Um, you go I go left. left? Yes. All right. I'll come down. Okay, ready? Now. Ugh. Oh. No, we were on the same plane. I think your plane is smaller. I'm going to go down a bit. You have to okay, be right, right on my plane. Maybe it isn't smaller. Oh, yours is smaller. Okay. Ready? Next round? Ready. Fire. fire. Oh, it didn't hit one. you. How did it not get hit you? I don't know. We were on... I swear we were on the same plane. Yep. Okay. I'll turn around. I swear you're harder to hit. Okay, I'm going to go up just a bit. Yeah, because for some reason, My... it didn't hit you. We should hit each other. Okay. Okay. Ready? Now. There we go. Yeah, it's random how long you or spend. Or it alternates, possibly. Maybe. But they, it, it, it's not doing it. Those clouds are beautiful. They are. Three colors. If I could paint clouds, I would paint clouds like that. <laughs> They're beautiful. And, pink and yellow. Yeah. And orange. Oh, yeah. Actually, Gorgeous. Actually, more light orange than pink. There's a YouTuber who's an artist that I like to follow. And she does painting, and she does tutorials on how to paint beautiful cloud scenes. And, uh... It's really good if you if you need something meditative to do for a little bit, but um, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not even carrying at this point. Oh, see, I can't even hit you. It's so funny. It's like I feel like we're in the same plane, but we're not. Sometimes you just get hit by a stray bullet too. <laughs> They're never stray. They're never <laughs> stray. My ass. Oh. Oh. There we go. Yeah. I'm kind of letting you hit me because 20 is quite a lot. <laughs> it is. Um, and we want to see the other scene, right? Oh. Yeah, I don't know why you said it's 20. That's, That's a, a lot. lot. If you want a long see, game, I, 20. I feel like you're harder to hit compared yeah. to the last time. I think so. That MIG is... But I'm bigger. They're kind of. Vertically thicker. That's funny. Uh, Hey. Kathy Man 2D puts Bob Ross. Yes, it's very like fluffy little clouds. Okay, stay. Oh, there we go. Top Gun. Fluffy little clouds. <laughs> the planes are not the same size, which is why it wasn't exactly lining up. So yeah. that creates a little bit of a challenge. Yeah. Okay, so let's do the third scene, is it? I just like seeing the clouds. The third scene. Oh. Time of day, I mean daytime bullet wrap guided ammo you want to do that again sure and bullet wrap this time not 20 points short normal range normal gun range unlimited and unlimited or do you want them both limited 
Uh, limited. Okay, we'll make it 30, which is higher. Five points is enough. More than enough. Hi. Timed is good, too. Yep. Okay. Oh, I should have changed the... The pictures. Oh, that's fine. It's okay. Ah! So it's a nice ah. blue sky with a... Hi, what are you licking? Licking the bolt? So I'm the gray. Tanny's the red. Oh, see, it does spin. It does spin the bullets. Tiny little bug. I don't know what he Is could do there. Well, your bullet spinning in midair. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Going with your with your plane. So you could either get rid of it or just, well, don't attach it to the plane, I guess. Let it keep moving. Or stop it in midair. See, I your bullet didn't hit me. It did. I hit you. No, it didn't. no the bullet was like over there, and I was down there. I'll have to have a frame by frame replay of that. I no, don't think there's so. there was something weird going on there. Yeah, the bullet does go crazy. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I swear that. Pure skill. Are you speeding up? Yes. Oh, see, I'm not doing that at all. That's probably why I'm not. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. There you go. Ah! ah! The bullet hits you, <laughs> spinning around. That's, That's hilarious. Funny. <laughs> it's like defenses. Yeah, it is. Oh, that was close. That was close. Ah! Oh, that was close again. That almost should have hit you. That was pretty. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Come on, shoot. Oh, come on. How many bullets how do you that, have? How, oh my god, you have more. How did that not more? hit you? How did that not hit you? It went through you. I opened my window. Yeah, apparently. You like let go from the cockpit. Come on, shoot me. I have so many more bullets left. Oh my god, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> that went right through. Miss Command agrees with yes, you. Yes, thank you very much, Miss Command. <laughs> well, Muddy Funster can analyze the footage. <laughs> Maybe you turned it at the last second? I don't know. That was bizarre, though. That looked like it went right through you. Oh, uh, come on. Hit. Use up your bullets. Oh, I'm out of fuel. You have, like, four left. I know. Does it replenish? Press forward. Use your fuel up. Oh, come on! Use your fuel up. All of it. Two. Come on. Come on, use your fuel up. I want to see what happens. There we go. Nope, just runs out. I thought it reset. One more bullet. Oh. Yay! Oh, you only go up to five again. Does it start at 20? Oh, no. Well, it's, it's to five, right? Oh, you got me. Oh, player two. <laughs> I'm all right. Footloose or danger zone? <laughs> I like footloose. Danger zone. I'm pretty sure when I was 10, hundred percent danger zone. Every every uh, sleepover I had was we watched Footloose. Great so. guitar intro in Danger Zone. Yeah. M much better chorus. <laughs> Foot Footloose is fun. I'm all right is fun. Well, They're both fun, but you, Footloose you, is you, like there's, hard there, driving kind of. Footloose is great, and there's a specific dance to perform to it too. So I, I like Footloose, but that's me. Okay. That went right through him. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> very very fun. Great game. Mm. Muddy Funster. Mm -hmm. I'll take that monstrosity Thank from you. you. Oh, now I can get back control of my mouse. Goodness. There we go. Close that down. Goodbye. Ah. Okay, so uh, I have something uh, fun planned before we do the last uh, game. Okay. We're going to do a 
look at my 7800 collection. Oh, okay. Yes. I was going to ask you if you were going to do a collection tour today. So. Yeah, because I thought, well, we had a little bit of time, and I did a bit of time to prepare it. Oh, my. It's not that extensive, so it's not too bad to take a look at. Um, so let me just get up the chat on the screen so we can keep up with it. Mm. So we'll start with consoles. So I have two loose consoles here. And they're in pretty good condition. Mm -hmm. Very shiny, no big scratches, no dents or anything. So there's two that are mm -hmm. loose. And I have one that's boxed that we'll take a look at in a bit. Mm -hmm. And they stack up very nicely, 7800 systems. Yeah. They are wonderful. You just go back and forth with them, <laughs> yeah. staggering them, and they have little feet so they don't even slip. They're like the best um, systems to stack up. Nice. Yeah. Um, and I have uh, not that many controllers. There might be more on the door, but I don't think so. So yeah. three controllers. And they're pretty cool controllers. Um, I haven't played, I haven't used the 7800 much. But there's two buttons, as opposed to one on the 2600, mm. like you saw, mm -hmm. like you were playing with. And uh, an arcade, more an arcade-style joystick. Mm. Um, very short throw on it. And same kind of plug. Very nice. Yeah. So I have three of these. Um, who knows if they work or not. You can see they were at uh, second-hand stores. That yeah, 199 one ninety nine. I'll buy that all day long for one ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so here's a bunch of loose games. Wow. Um, so let's just quickly go through some of them. We'll avoid the doubles. So yeah. Ball Blazer, and this is the game that has the pokey chip in it. Oh, nice. Yeah. One of two games that has the extra sound card. Yeah. A uh, sound chip in it. Mm -hmm. Never use seventy hundred controllers. How comfortable are they? I think they're great. They're a little weird, but yeah. Um, your hand fits around them really nicely. With your thumb on one button, your forefinger on the next, your first finger on the next one. And your hand can rest on it. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's a really good. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't played a long time with them, so mm. yeah. Um, Ball Blazer, yep. It has a chip in it. Uh, 7800 one-on-one uh, one -on -one basketball. I played this a lot on the Commodore 64. It's a very decent basketball game. Um, Meltdown, never played this. No idea what this game is about. <laughs> is it good? Anybody out there? Yeah. Um, Hat Trick, never played this one. It's a hockey game. Yeah. Uh, Ball Blazer has always been back and forth for 2600. Mm. There's one that's very close to being done. We played it on the show. Mm. You can play it. It's 100% playable. The music's it's just not awesome. Completed kind of thing? It's that close to being completed. Oh. Like, that close yeah. and the guy who's working on it kind of stopped working on it we did talk with him just go look in the archives um for ball blazer mm -hmm. uh dig dug love dig dug that's a great game another one-on-one -on -one. food fight um there's a proof of concept for this game for the 2600 that was made by mm -hmm. Sposta. yes yes it's yes. very well made um that's a fun game mm -hmm. fun arcade game um centipede fun game a lot of these are arcade games. And Tanya's favorite. Impossible Mission. Impossible Mission. Although I played it on the Commodore 64. It is probably one of my favorite games. And I believe this is impossible to finish. Mm. And somebody made a, a working version of it. Mm. Um, so they named it Possible Mission. <laughs> yeah. I think it was the for the 7800? Or was it the NES? Is this version? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Galaga. Signed. Galaga. By the artist who did the uh, artwork. Oh, the art. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I got this signed at PRGE. Yeah, nice. Um, along with this, which is also signed yep. by uh, Mark Eck something. <laughs> <laughs> Mark E. Yeah. Um, so this at the same time, I got him to sign both. Or I bought this. It's pre-signed. Yeah. And I got him to sign this. So yeah. Really, it's it should, quite beautiful. should sit in this Yeah. somewhere. But it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, another Galaga. Another Centipede. Uh, Miss Pac-Man. Food Fight was my once my number one reason to own the 7800. Yeah, yeah. Commando go. was the other pokey game. Yes. I um, will see if I have that. Yeah. Joust. Hard but fun game. Robotron, Robotron 2084, which actually uses two of these controllers. Oh, nice. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. On both hands. Yeah. Yep. 
and uh, you can get uh, things that hold them in place. You can get 3D printed uh, holders. Oh. And I believe they put them out back in the day as well. Oh, really? Cool. Uh, another Joust, another Robotron, another Galaga, mm -hmm. uh, Winter Games, which uh, some are bad, some are fun in Winter Games. Ice skating is terrible. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Now there's um, a hair. <laughs> oh, thought you're grabbing it. Um, yeah, that's neat. Some of the Winter Games, on a whole, Winter Games is not the greatest collection of games. I really like Played the that design. Played that a lot in the C64. So I just have to say, I don't know if you can really see that. No. But the design, the that's okay. Where they have this weird, like, almost like vector-based imagery. Oh, let's see. You mean uh, Impossible, yeah. It's, it's, oh, it's, yeah. Uh, Impossible Mission has the same oh, in the sure, color. So and there's something about. about that is it just feels so wonderfully... Hey, don't mess up my order. No, no, I'm just looking at them. Wonderfully 80s. I was wondering if any of the other ones... Most of them are black and white, but these ones have color. And uh, and there's something about that aesthetic. Like, it's yeah. almost like a glowing. neon glowing aesthetic that yeah. I really like. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It is nice. Um, Miss Pac-Man, uh, Xevious, which was just put out for the 2600 mm. by CDW. Incredible nice. version of Xevious mm. on, um, the 2600. Um, Pole Position 2, which is a fun game. And another much worse looking Pole Position cartridge as well. Uh, I use the Adladen Super Twin with Robotron. As soon as um, the, as soon as we can go down to the U.S. and go to my P.O. box, I'm going to order the Super Twin seven hundred oh, yes. yeah, from yeah, yeah. Adladen. Yeah. Because it's got two controllers. Yes. Yeah. You were saying. It works with the twenty six hundred as well. Wow. Uh, and the seven eight hundred, so it's got the double buttons. Yeah. So you'll be able to play Robotron on either one. Nice. Um, so it's like the ultimate stick. For, okay, so we're gonna move these out of the way and dive into the box here. So those are just the loose games that I've collected over the years. And this is the box that I bought in its entirety uh, one day along with another box of Intellivision games too. Um, do you remember when I bought these, brought these home? <laughs> this guy was like selling, he was like, oh, he's gonna start up a museum of classic yeah, consoles yeah something like that and I, I was bought some very specific thing from him and then you always ask hey was do you have it anything vectrix? was it the vectrix no no i've got oh. that off the internet um you always ask do you have anything else he's like yeah i do have some other stuff yeah yeah i remember and that. he brought down these bins of stuff yeah. and i'm like yeah i'll take it all yeah yep. yeah um there is some 2600 stuff mixed in here uh venture these Football. are sealed, by the way. Yeah, these are sealed. Yeah. Um, that's super breakout for the 5200. Anyway, this is and a little card for uh, F F14 Tomcat, made by Dan Kitchen, actually. Nice. Oh, 7800 version? No, I don't know if he made the 70. Oh yeah, staff Dan, Dan Kitchen. There, there we go. go. Yeah. Little card. I guess a game came Very with the cute. game. Uh, so here's the box. I don't know what's in it or how complete it is inside, but it is a box. I usually don't collect boxes because they take up so much room. Yeah. Oh, it has a cover. Oh, and it has more controllers. There you go. That's good. Yeah. Oh, and an extra controller. He obviously hasn't been in this I in a while. not opened this at all. Uh, yeah. Uh, Gemstick. Just a third party. It's fine. Very short throw. Kind of okay button. Two more controllers. This has absolutely none of the packing material. So that's not great. Um, it has a power adapter. Big old brick. Nice. 7800, which has the strangest end for any system. Oh. Tiny little blue end, so good luck replacing that. Yeah. With a third party. And... Uh, it's like a homemade almost cover, an ill-fitting kind of cloth cover. Yeah. With a not yeah. particularly spectacular. It doesn't look. look bad. It looks pretty clean actually. It's okay. It's very a clean. A little dusty. Oh, I would say that's very clean. 
7800 Pro system. That looks really nice, actually. Yeah. It's not scratched up or anything, so. Yeah. So a decent box. Ah, Metal Lunar had a very similar third-party controller with this 2600 with that oh. oversized yellow button. Oh, well, there you go. Gem stick. Not nice. something I'm familiar with. No. But there's many, many joysticks made. There's like some very popular ones. There's a lot of sealed games in here. Oh, these are mostly 2600. Are they? Yeah. Oh. Some of them aren't, though. Oh, no, maybe they're not. No, no, no. These are all sealed. He doesn't even sealed. know what he has. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're all sealed. Some with hang tabs. So most of these are doubles of what you've already seen. Meltdown. One-on-one uh, -on -one basketball. Hey! No, no, it just okay. fell over. It fell over. Relax, relax. Uh, Galaga. These are all sealed. Joust sealed. Nice. Jinx. Not played that one. Um, Dark Chambers for the 7800. This is mm. Gauntlet. Before, oh, before Gauntlet. Before Gauntlet. Like, oh, wow. Take a look at that. Very it's cool. Gauntlet. Yeah. Um, these are all continually sealed. Uh, centipede, some with hang tags, which is always desirable. Pole position two, so I've got all these unsealed so I can play them. Miss Pac-Man, Dig Dug. Oh, that's a new one, and it's kind of open. Uh, Tower Toppler, which is a cool game. It's yeah. like a rotating tower. And you oh. hop on platforms. Oh, that's cool. Very, very cool. Yeah. Oh, this one I haven't seen. Donkey Kong Jr. Which looks like a decent conversion. Um, Asteroids. Surprisingly, I didn't have that loose. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hat Trick. Um, Xevious. Um, Donkey Kong. Ooh. Oh, my God. That's a tall stack. Barnyard Blaster. So that's a new one. Light gun. I don't have a light gun. That's mm. something I do want to get because it'll. Mm. I think there's some 2600 games that use a light gun too that somebody's programmed. Oh, okay. Uh, straight up baseball. Yeah. <laughs> there's no blah blahs baseball. Real sports. No real sports. No major league. Just straight up. It's just baseball. Uh, another joust sealed. Um, ball blazer sealed. Wow. Uh, Galaxian sealed. It, real sports baseball. So apparently there was two baseballs no, made. But that, that, that was real sports baseball. Maybe they lost the license. Re real sports baseball. Oh. See? There you go. Two different versions. Wow. Um, Very close to a full set. I don't see Commando. Uh, Jungle Hunt. How many games were put out for the, 20, for the 7800? Oh, I have some. Oh, yeah, 7800 homebrews. I don't have too many, so I'll get into that after. Yeah. Um, Dig Dug. This Pac Man we've seen. Like, this is pretty impressive. It is. Yeah. And I got it for a steal. Yeah. Uh, these are 2600 games. Gravatar, Junior Pac Man. This is a hard game. Oh, this one's been open. It's not even in here. Uh, Super Football. Yeah, those are 2600. Yeah. Uh, Solaris for the 2600. Mm. Yeah, I didn't think that was for 7800. Uh, pole position one. Oh, they made pole position one and two for the 7800. Mm. Battle zone. Kangaroo, fun platformer. And so if I'm really close, maybe I can go for a full sealed set. <laughs> that's amazing, actually. <laughs> Probably like something that's really rare that I don't have. Anybody? How many? How many uh, 7800 games are there? That's not helpful, Arena Fun. <laughs> Sealed probably came from O'Shea Limited in Missouri. Out of the salt mines, they salt bought mines. the remaining Atari inventory back in the day and sold them for 80 cents to $5 per box oh, till they wow. sold it all out. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, Asteroids Loose, Xevious Loose, Food Fight Loose, we've seen those. Donkey Kong Loose, Donkey Kong Jr. Loose, Jinx Loose. Pole position two loose again. Better copy than I have outside of there. And Galaga loose. Mm. So I know uh, Commando I don't have. Um, so let's put the system on the bottom because that's heaviest. <laughs> and so we don't crush all these games. Yeah. 
And we'll put that back. But it is nice to have them all sealed. That is. Uh, Anybody? Very Nobody fancy. knows? Look it up. How many 7800 games were there for the system? You can do it, people. I know you can. Andrew Davis says, yeah, I bought a haul of O'Shea's back then. Mm. So let's do them vertically like that so you can kind of see them. Yep, fair enough. Real sports baseball were both for twenty six hundred and seven eight hundred. Mm. Yep. That looks much cleaner. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, one more can go there. That must be pretty close to a mm -hmm. decent collection. Fifty seven mm -hmm. titles for the Atari seventy eight hundred per wiki. Oh, okay. I have many to go. Yeah. <laughs> but a good start. Let's let's see. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14. So you've got 28. 28, so that's not even close. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind, I will not be trying. And these, I'm sure, are the Oh, commons. I suppose a few of those silver boxes are the 2600 versions. No, they're not. These ones? These are all... what? Oh! Oh! This one is. This one is. Oh, yeah. You are so right. Yeah, I was not looking at them. Yeah, the Pac-Man, Kangaroo, and Battle Zone. The real sports baseball too? Mm. Nope, nope, nope. Nope? Nope. I think just the strike down the line. Mmm. This one. This yeah, one. Yeah, that one. This oh, real sports. Okay, yeah. You had two. That's a twenty six. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. No twenty four. You've got twenty four. Yeah. Which is not. Yeah. Plus even close. Not even close. And there's probably some third party. Did any third party companies make 7,800 games? I don't know. And I'll probably leave these outside. Yeah? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. And I'll put them in the other bin. Okay. There we go. That's nice. I'll move that out right of the way. Package. Yes, please. And then we'll take a look. Oh. Sorry, I missed your show completely. We'll watch on YouTube later, Dan says. <laughs> Um, so for homebrew, I only have a couple, but I'm sure I will get some more soon enough. Hold those. Mm -hmm. there we go. I think they're all together. Um, so in addition to the one I just got, which was Ricky and Vicky. Yay. I have. Oh, stinky cat. <laughs> oh, it's very stinky. Uh huh. I'll take care of that. Um, mm -hmm. Crystal Quest, uh, featuring Bentley Bear. Baby Pac Man. Almost time to do the plus card update. We're going to do that right after this. And uh, Super Pac Man. Junior Pac-Man and the Pac-Man collection. So when I get my 7800 modded with RGB, actually I'll probably do a, a composite mod first or an S video mod on the 7800 so that we can get a head start because RGB mod, I don't know when that's going to be done. So Next up, so that's a collection of 7800 homebrew and original games and hardware that I have. Um, so as we introduce more 7800 games, I'm going to get this, I'm going to mod one of these um, so that it will have um, at least S video. I think there's S video for, for the 7800 so that we can get at least a decent signal because S video is not bad. It's, it's not bad at all for for digital, anyway. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the checking a look at the updates for the plus card, of which uh, Andrew Davey was uh, quite involved in that. So he helped out with a lot of the updates. So let's go back to the 2600. Turn that on, switch over so we can see it. 
and not have that cartridge in there because that's not the plus card. <laughs> well, we'll show it from boot. Let's turn off that cartridge graphic so it's not distracting. There. Okay. Plus card. I've already got it set up on the network. Okay. So we don't have to log into the network. Yes. There it is. Plus. Yay. So we'll see what version this is running. Um, so we'll go to setup. So this is version 0.14.5. So it's, it's a little bit older. Come on. Come on, notes. Do you have to update it? Yeah, we're going to do a live update. Oh, on good. This. To show how it works. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Um, so the new version is 0 0.16.0. So this is so old. I think the update is right there. There we go. Um, so you can see what it looks like right now. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to update the firmware. Hopefully this does not reveal anything. I don't think it would. It's just the Wi-Fi, right? Yeah, and I can name it anything I want. I just name it random things when I want to hook this up. Mm. So right now it's downloading new firmware for the plus cart which is crazy. over the wi-fi yep <laughs> using atari 2600. Oh, nice oh, oh just changed Stuff animation look Woo! it's got animation now <gasps> My oh that's very different there we go um so i don't nice. think i have any roms so when you go into things no So, what has changed? New fonts. Mm, the fonts are nice. So I think there's, uh, you can change fonts now. Yes, it is. Set font style. Oh. So you can set all different fonts. Mm -hmm. There they are. Captain actually. Morgan Spice. Very nice. <laughs> so, that, so right now we're in small caps. Yeah. So the capital yeah. letters are just a little bit bigger than the lowercase. Yeah. Those, that one's triconomic. Tri trichotomic 12. Trico trichotonic. Tri I think it's an M. Uh, Might be an N, be an but N. I think it's an M. Trico -tomic? Trichotomic. Trichotomic. Captain Morgan Spice, yeah. which is kind of a thicker... Just, just ignore, the, so ignore the weirdness that's going on. It's yeah. my system. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's kind of a cartoonish looking... I like it. ...fun font. Yeah. They're all very easy to read. Which yeah, is, which is which nice. is the important thing. And Glacier Bell. Yeah, which is uh, a slight alteration, still a little bit. It's similar. Thicker. Yeah, it's very similar. similar. It's got a bit of a slant to it. And that's nice. nice too. Yeah, very nice. Oh. As for Ramirez, I'm using Glacier Bell. Glacier Bell, you <laughs> like that one? It's it nice, nice to have uh, these options, um, and they're all very simple, very easy to see as well on uh, on the stream. They're going nuts, going crazy. Because um, that's the RGB mod or something. Oh, so that. What, what should we use? Let's use the Captain Morgan Spice just because sure. it's fun. Yeah, it is fun. Um, so the next one is a new keyboard. So uh, I don't know if we can show the keyboard anywhere. Oh my God, it's going crazy. Because <laughs> um, I don't want to show anything I want to type in. Um, and I don't really want to type in my password all over again. No. <laughs> not just to sh show it. Can but you show the keyboard and not type in your password? Maybe, as long as it doesn't forget the password. That Let could me be try problematic. That. Let me try that. Yeah, at least you can see the keyboard. Yeah, because that's what I want to show. Try searching for a ROM. Oh, can you do that? As Ramirez says. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do that instead. That's good. Search, Andrew Davy says. Search! Oh, there it is. Search from. I didn't even see that. There you go. Oh, my God. That's good. So you have the selection of four. Mm. Okay. So it's not... Oh, this looks like, like craziness going on. <laughs> it I is. think it calms down after it warms up a bit. Oh, really? The yeah. plus card? Or what is it? No, not the plus card. My my system. Oh, your 2600? Yeah. Mm. 
So it's got the keyboard layout there. So you go like this. And then you... Oh, that's good. Huh? What did I type in? <laughs> R? Um, so let's search for Amoeba Jump. That's one I know. Oh, I can't even read that. A. And then you enter. I like that. That plus? Yeah. yeah it's good. There okay, go. so it searches everything on every... Wow. That's a lot. Are it's whole like, archive. Mine is still 0.00.01, lol. <laughs> <laughs> That's your version number? <laughs> Oh my god. That is Time early. Time to update. That's early. Oh, there's a lot of games to play. Wow, you're not even close to Amoeba Jump. A lot of aliens in there. Oh, there yay! We go. And now it's downloading Amoeba Jump over the internet. <gasps> and there you go. Oh my goodness, there's that's Amoeba awesome. Jump. Now, is, ah. is the code for getting back to the menu still in here? I think it's pressing right in Game Reset. Yeah, oh. pressing right oh. and reset. Excellent. Because most games would not have that. Nice. So how do I get out of this? I think you have to press reset. Oh. Yeah. Why is it pink? <laughs> what is Did pink? I change the font color? The font color was pink there. Oh, no, Maybe no, because they were I was pink. It was pink from the search. Oh, from searching? Yeah. Um, new so. display. More rows, more colors. It just flipped out. Uh, oh. Flipped out. It just lost it. Mm. Yeah, it took a long time and then I just gave up. Mm. Just died. New display. So I guess there's more lines. The uh, font is more compact. Um... Download buffer sized increase for faster downloads. So let's just try this. So go to the public ROMs. Go to the plus ROMs. Mm. These are the ones that you can get high scores on. Nice. So there's quite a few now. Oh, let's play Jawbreaker. So when you have your um, when you have your cart registered mm. and you go into the this category of games mm. and you get a score, it will record it and yeah. put it on yeah. uh, the, internets, the internet. Yes. So we're going to play a quick game of Jawbreaker. <laughs> ah. And then we'll notice the score, and you can actually check the high scores on the plus cart using the plus cart. Oh, oops, as well. It's kind of funny because you—they always appear on the level you're on, so you kind of have to change halfway or get on the other side of the screen. Yeah. Oh, that was unfortunate. Shoot. There we go. And now you get this other half. Yeah, that of makes them. sense. I have never seen the lower version. I have never seen this game before. I've rarely played this game, but it's kind of like it's very much like Pac-Man. It is a very <laughs> Pac-Man game. Yeah. yeah. Um, but with quite a twist, the mazes are always moving, right? Oh, let me get that. And I should be able to finish it off. There we go. <laughs> ah, <laughs> your teeth. That is so cute. Okay, so I'm just going to die. Cafe Man TD, I've never played this. It's a pretty fun game. Is this is this a homebrew or is this an no, no, original? No. It's an original. Really? So I got 2790. So nice. let's back out. Yeah. And um S Ramirez, I get this behavior with my plus cart 2 on my S video modded console. Oh, see now it's Maybe behaving it. fairly well. Yeah. Oh. Thank you for following. Oh, Thunkist for subscribing. Yay. Thank you so much for subscribing, Thunkist. So this is the list of high... Oh. High scores? For asteroids? Uh, what is... What? Oh, uh, oh, you go back... Okay, you go one at a time through each Three. game. 
So that's Pac-Man, Sadistroids, Amoeba Jump, Hero, Pitfall, Barnstorming. Barnstorming. I thought you picked the game first, but it's actually you go through the pages mm -hmm. of the game. So here's Jawbreaker. Nice. Which I've not played using this cart, so yeah. I should only have one entry. Mm. Um, and you're not even there. <laughs> oh, that's Tapper. How come? Oh. Oh, you only get one screen's worth, maybe. Oh. What it's your page. Did I get? Emulator user 25? Maybe I did play it online for a little you bit. You must have, yeah. So it only does the first bit then. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Hmm. You can go online and probably see it, right? Yeah. So let's go online. Uh, Jawbreaker. Ricardo Pim, this game is very famous in Brazil. I played it a lot. Oh. Nice. It's a it's a fun game. It is a fun game. I, I've never seen it played. That's the first time I've seen it. So. Okay, so I will show you guys that it registered my score. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, I'll just do a single single screen. So here's the scores. There's one of my games that I played through the yeah. emulator because it does differentiate. Yes, there you are. And right there. there is my score. And you can see I played it on the 13th at 8.54 p.m., which nice. is our time. Our time. So I guess, does it register your time that you played it? Or does it happen to be in our time zone? Or does it display the scores in your time zone it must display your the scores it must know what time zone you're in so if somebody else looked at this list on the east coast it would say 12 east, 12 it would be EST or on whatever the 14th. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. or atlantic that time makes sense yeah yeah neat and uh you can see all the different variations that people have played uh, most people are playing the default yeah see there's so many opportunities for high scores oh s oh. ramirez i saw in there tough Look, tough, tough and slow yeah. Only Alnifer. <laughs> <laughs> but the default is, is going to be the most populated because people hardly ever nice. look at other other versions. So they added they're adding so many. Omega mm -hmm. Matrix is doing, I think, all of these oh, alterations nice. to yeah, these yeah, games. Yeah. So you can play an original hardware mm. and register your scores online yeah. knowing that it hasn't been altered because it's coming from the exact same place. Everybody's playing it the same. You look at Arena Foot. He's like, I'm third. I'm third. <laughs> oh, Way to go. You are. Yeah. Arena Foot emulator 9, user. 9,130. Very good. Yep. I knew that uh, two months ago. Time to update. <laughs> so I try it. So one day we're going to try and play all these games and get like mm. a top five or ten score. Sure. Yeah. Why not? I think this would That'd be, be great. Fun. Uh, this would be pretty fun for a. Uh, you know when yeah when we could get everyone in the room too and, and we can play yeah them. yeah sadistroids yeah so i've got um story about that on an upcoming show as mm. well um look at that. got to increase that score on amoeba <laughs> jump it's just you no can good. you can do better than that for sure yeah i, I think i if with enough Very practice i can get pitfall. right to the top see lots of room in pitfall nice anyway let's go to the next um piece of updates for that which is uh, animated loading logo which we saw mm. and many bugs and bug fixes and tweaks mm. um, and then Andrew Davy when he when that was listed on there Andrew Davy said I love bug tweaks <laughs> <laughs> it's bu bug fixes and tweaks <laughs> bug so tweaks <laughs> So, a uh, great update. Um, it is a, f a fun cart that does things different than other carts do. It's yeah. a totally different concept. Yeah. It, like, brings you together with the community. Which is really cool. Yeah. And there's the combat that we played. Mm. The You can play with somebody else, the combat. But I don't think they've done a lot of updates so mm. that it's more aligned. I haven't seen any updates for that. Ooh, demo scene. I bet these are all PAL and it'll crash my system out. Probably. Oh, there's some NTSC stuff. Demos. Very nice. Oh yeah, this one. 
love demos on the 2600 because it just looks like no game you've ever seen because yeah. well you can do it's things not an on, actual game <laughs> no because you can do things on demos that you can't do in games mm. because you don't have to have certain things like there's no enemies no. on here so they can have a beautiful star field and mm -hmm. all these great animations mm -hmm. cool song not cooling <laughs> it's 11:59. cooling by blondie and time for cafe man to go to sleep okay. oh good night cafe man <laughs> cool song not cooling okay I, I love this exit oh no you can't get out of this oh no it's not a game. Oh, maybe. Oh, okay. So I think we've investigated everything with the plus card now. Um, so the next game, we have to play it on the Retron 77 because it's a PAL game. Mm. It was only released on PAL. I recently played ROMs. See that? See? Nice. Play it remembers Jawbreaker, the last few. Play back to back. Need the jumps in there, yeah. The jump, yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Very cool. So that's a very nice update. Lots of lots of good things. Mm. Um, yeah, all that I think is the same. I like that font actually. I really do nice too. Nice font. Yeah. Yeah. And my system's not spacing things correctly. Like some letters are slammed up against other letters, oh. and some are further away from other letters. Mm. See the in public yeah, ROMs, popular too. The U and B are really close, but then the L and the I are too far apart. Yeah, what's um, up with and that? It's just my system. Your system? It's the timing. Really? Of of, I think it's the RGB because it manipulates the time and changes the way it draws onto the screen because mm. it gets a signal, interprets it, and then pumps it out. Mm but but it's like right on the edge kind of timing so if you miss something by just a tiny bit it's like oh nope nope it's good that's why things are going crazy and flickering possibly mm -hmm. we got to fix that spike sprite glitching offset next update and yeah if sometimes programmers can figure comp, it out yeah can comp <laughs> compensate can it out. yeah by altering their timing to mm. be just a touch earlier or oh, a touch later yeah, yeah, yeah. so that it works on glitchy systems but also properly working systems mm. yeah 36 character demo auto detects the timing glitch yeah we i think we did some character demos on a recent show maybe a month back yeah i thought it was a modified system causing this yes mm. i'm quite sure it is the modified systems mm. Okay, so uh, let's go to the Retron 77 for the last game. Just have to unplug the HDMI to another system and bring over the... No, I don't have to bring over that because the Harmony card doesn't work. It has its own built-in. There we go. So the last game we're going to play tonight is an older game from, I think, 2008. Uh, yeah, 2008. This is I Project, And Thomas Jentsch, uh suggested we play this game after we played Trench. Remember mm -hmm. the 3D um, perspective and you're flying through a trench? Mm -hmm. um, he said, I Project by Simon Querenhorst is quite similar, except for the 3D effect, which is nice, but somehow it looks wrong. <laughs> if you step through the scrolling frame by frame you'll notice some surprising jumps that's talking about the trench game mm. probably this could be easily fixed and make make the game less irritating <laughs> maybe you could use sprites and missiles to make the movement smoother ponder but since he suggested this and we have never played this game I thought, play? I thought yeah let's, mm. let's play it um I'm plugging the joystick Um, but I think there's something I have to show first. Yeah, so there you got a bunch of stuff. He did release this on cartridge, actually, this game. And I'm going to show you what you got if you um, bought this. Mm. 
No. No. No? That's not what you want? Why isn't it zooming? Well, it doesn't have to zoom. Oh! There. It <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. That's about as big as it needs to go yeah. anyway. It's not very big on their screen. Anyway. So, you got it. This game actually came with a patch, mm. but it came in the box. Didn't have to earn it. It's like, here's your patch. Yep. <laughs> Get it automatically. Um, so it came with a plastic case, which is very unusual for um, 2600 games. Mm. Um, plastic cases come a lot with um, Vectrex games. Mm. Um, they're much more sturdy and you don't accidentally crush them. So mm. that's a bonus. Um, and a manual and a cartridge and a button and a patch. So let's take a look at... It look crazy. It's better not look crazy when we play it. Might have to adjust something. Okay. Oh, because I have it set for. Okay, so if you want to jump into the uh, 1113, I'll see if I can fix it while we play here. Oh no, it's fine. It's slightly it's off the screen, but... kind of fine. Huh. It's probably okay. It'll probably be okay. Let's see. Game wide. I like the music. Should I play? Yes! Go for it. I don't know why it crashes immediately. But press button. No. So you can move up and down. How? How am I moving up and down? Um, so it's the same as before, like the other game we played. Okay. Up and down moves up and down the screen. Side and side? Side, side and, and side right? moves vertically. Oh, that's up. Up? So, down? Up. So you want to go down? What? The bigger things are closer oh, to you. Oh, but so what's you the difference down. between the two colors? <clears throat> I don't think the colors make any difference. Nope. <laughs> it's on the plus card? On oh, oh, sorry. Yep. Yeah. That's up? Yep. Yeah. That's up? Yep. Okay, go down. Or middle. Up. Middle. I found when I was testing out this game, you only re really need... Oh, that's middle. Up and middle. And the only time you need to go middle is... When the big thick line, like that big thick line, you just leave it, leave it alone. Then go up for up? the rest of it. Just stay up the whole time. Yeah. Yep, just stay up. Until then, yeah. Um, so I'm going to read out the instructions for this one. The next level will change a little bit, because then you have to dodge through some things. But what's down? Well, it just takes you right to the bottom. So forward is down? Yeah. Forward is down, back is up. And so you have to dodge, get in the middle. Nope, don't hit those oh, things. I was trying to move. Thank you. <laughs> Story of I Project. Congratulations, your mission was a success. You and your helicopter and the two other two helicopters of your squadron did very well and fought the enemy armies our enemy's army bravely. What's the reset? Bottom left. Kind of understand the controls now? Well, kind of. I thought that was down. See, what is down? Left. Right? Left Correct. and... Oh, no. Right. Left and right. Left and right. That's moves. down. Yep. That's up. Yeah. Okay. And letting go of it is just in the middle, which you don't need to do. You like <sighs> it before you... I, I, it. It's very frustrating. It's like the other one. It, it just <laughs> it's, it just seems counter, completely counterintuitive. You never need to go down. No, but I'm practicing. Yeah. I'm not trying. To, I'm trying to figure out the scale of where things are. Your new objective sounds easy. Escape the enemy territory and return to your home carrier. Due to a fuel shortage, you have to take the shortest way. 
which follows a river flowing through a long canyon heading directly to the sea. Unfortunately, all your ammunition is depleted, so you have to avoid colliding with objects just by your flying skills. Good luck, pilots. I thought it was down. That was the middle. The only one you need to go down for is the big, thick yellow line. But if it's That's middle, it. I should be able to go down. I wouldn't bother. I, I can't tell the difference between things you have to go under no, but, and things you have to go That looks like a middle, middle, so I have to go either up or down, is what I'm saying. Okay, I wouldn't go down. But I'm trying to... Yeah, yeah it's weird. Because there's no... Can you hit reset? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying practice, to figure it out. I'm trying to practice it because I'm trying to figure out what's what. I think that's in the bottom. That's middle. That's, that's top. And then you kind of go up. That's middle. But it shouldn't dotted, matter. That's the dotted, down. The dotted lines that's are on the middle. ground. Are they on the ground? Yeah. And I think that's in the middle. That's in the middle. Oh, that's in the middle too. That's small, but so that's it's far small, away. so it looks like that looks like medium. That's medium. Yeah. That's large. But is the is medium. the stripe line ever big? Like that, you mean? Yeah. Yes. It doesn't look like it's ever big. That's big. That stripe line is is that big? Oh, or that, is that one medium? no. That one never gets. That's big. what I mean. Does it yeah. is the stripe line ever ever no. big? No. Not doesn't that I've seen. Doesn't look like it ever is. Maybe at low later levels it is, but in practicing I I didn't play it very much, so I only made it to this level. I was trying to figure out. Ugh. There is a bit of a danger going up between those because you're huge. See, I would, you know, stay middle and you're kind of. Oh, see? Oh, that's well, not middle. Not with that ever. <laughs> it's really annoying. Reset! <laughs> The cartridge starts up by displaying the title screen, showing the <gasps> game name and copyright information. The screen also tells you to press fire and start the game. The game name is reminiscent of one of my cla favorite classic horizontal shooters. I project can also be interpreted as a verb, expressing my personal VCS development works by meaning I am developing something. I'm figuring it Okay, I'll play and you read. No, it's okay. Bottom left. Bottom left. It's my turn. I want another turn. Here. The game starts with the screen showing a canyon from above, top view. Well, you have to guide your helicopter and avoid colliding with the different obstacles. The display also shows the current level on the left. So you're on level zero. Starts at zero. Yeah. Uh, the amount of helicopters available, middle, and the distance to the goal on the right. Oh, it counts down. Okay. Shown below is a frequency scanner. Use it to dismantle the enemy's homing missiles by pressing the fire button while the... Oh. Interesting. Well, the scanner's at the correct range. So if you press the button while it's on that pink part, okay. it disables the homing missiles, which we have not seen yet. So maybe that comes later. Later level. A sound will indicate this range, too. I was down. Was it a big one? No, it was medium. Obviously hmm. medium. Just stay up. Yeah, but... If you're up, you're big, so it's better to be small. Your helica oh, helicopter is able to fly at three levels of height. <laughs> Noxious. At three levels of height. In Trench, you only had one level that does not block your way. In this game, okay. you'll have one level blocked Does at a the time. stripe one kill you every time? No. Because I was down, and it was fat, and it killed me. I, I, I don't understand. You're giving me bad information very clearly. <laughs> like, maybe I have to be above it every single time? Maybe. I never played that way, so... I'm trying to figure out. Like, oh, yeah, that's useful. See, that's low. That's yeah. easy to know it's low. This yeah. is medium, so that's fine. Yeah. But then... Which I've, one are you having trouble with? The the medium-sized ones. Medium gray one? Yes, because I hit a medium gray one, and, and did, I was down. So like there. Were, See, that kills me, and I was down. Try medium on that one. Why would I be medium? I don't know. Just try it. But you're telling me I have to be above it. Do I'm I have to be I'm at just, the same level of I'm it? I'm just saying above is easiest. Just, just stay above at no, all times. No, but there's up, medium, and down. Yeah. Is that medium? Because I was down, and it's bigger. 
It's obviously not down. So what is what are you supposed to do when you face that? Don't know. I've never played it like that. <laughs> but you never go up? It. You always go above it? I always go above everything except the big thick line because everything is down except for that one. Well, yeah, but you can go underneath the medium ones. You can if you want. Yeah, but why? This, do you not understand what I'm asking you? <laughs> I do understand, but I don't like, know the answer. Like, can you go below? I don't know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. You obviously can't because you die. It's very frustrating. <laughs> I'm like, I think it's fine, but I see I can go above. Yes. Fine, I'm medium. Yeah. This one's easy. That's very clearly small. Yes. Right? That's medium. Okay, so just stay medium Down. on that one. No, you've you already die. done that five times. Stop doing it. Well, that's fine. <laughs> you know you die on that. Well, Try I'm medium on again. that. Try medium. Okay, medium. Okay. Yeah, so, so if you're if you're so down or medium. It's like a big stick that's at low and okay. medium, apparently. They're fences. They're I fences. Think. Okay. So it's a medium fence, so you have to go above it. Your helicopter is able to fly at three levels of height. The dangerous obstacles in your way are fences, bars, homing missiles, and columns. You either have to fly aside the columns, above the fences, or above and below the bars. So that's why. So fences you always fly above because yeah. they're medium. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Or short. Like, you can do medium on that, can't you? If three helicopters of your squadron are destroyed, you will come to the flashing game over screen. Scoring. There is no direct score in iProgress. Oh, I project, but your progress can be judged by, entered, by the entered zone and remaining distance. The game consists of 31 zones to pass. So there's a lot of zones. If those medium ones are chain link fences, they block from bottom up to medium. Yes, that is correct, Dunkist. Okay, now do you want to play? <laughs> yeah, I just finished the scoring part. The scoring? Okay. General game controls. You play the game using a joystick plugged into the left controller port of your Atari VCS console. You move your helicopter with the joystick. Pushing the joystick up and down makes the helicopter move aside. Pushing the joy joystick left lets That's the helicopter really... rise and gain height. Pushing the joystick right makes the helicopter lower its flying height. If the current level contains homing missiles heading for you, you have to use the fire button at the, at the right time to disable the missiles. The correct position is indicated by the frequency scanner and an according sound. So we haven't hit those yet. No, we suck. <laughs> well, <laughs> we've just figured out that those are fences, so that helps. Yes. Uh, the reset switch aborts the current game and resets the game to the introduction sequence. Technical details. The game is written in 60, 6507 assembly and consists of 4K of coding graphics, sounds, and the level of data of all stages. This game is written for the PAL version of the Atari VCS. Due to the PAL display of 312 scan lines, the game would have to be modified pretty much to receive a comparable NTSC version. Mm. So Therefore, it, it was decided high. to keep the game PAL only. You made the screen too high. You mm. didn't want to alter it. No. Ah! Try to move up and it let go. Yep. Uh, the development was performed on a Pentium PC using a normal text pad as editor and DASM V212 as compiler. Testing was done using the emulator Z26 V1.58 and Stella V2.4.2, and finally on real hardware, of course. Unreal hardware. On real hardware. I just yeah. said unreal hardware. No, on real hardware. It's like, oh, they unreal? made this in the unreal engine? <laughs> Okay, we might have homing missiles. Good luck to me. Nope, no homing missiles so far. Nope, maybe the next wave. There we go. 
Oh. I used to press in the pink part. Oh, I see. Okay. That's what the pink part's for. I'm guessing in later levels that moves around, because this is fairly benign. <laughs> Oh. oh, now it's moving faster. It is, yeah. yeah. There is absolutely no reason to fly in the middle. It's up or down. Mm -hmm. ah, ah! Let up too early. Yep. Level four. <laughs> oh, <laughs> going left and right instead of up and down. Yes. So, oh, we didn't quite get to the end. Where did nope. you get to? Oh, there. So you can download this game uh, uh, from his website, kernhorst.de forward slash Atari. Um, you can download the PAL version, so it won't work on an NTSC Atari, but you can play it on an emulator, which we're pretty much playing it on right now because Retron 77. Do you ever feel like pulling out the old standard CX40 joystick to play? No, I do not like those joysticks. <laughs> they're very stiff and very uncomfortable because they they're so short. And just mm, they are short. I found them uncomfortable back in this in the eighties, and there was nothing else to play with. <laughs> so, well, you were able to compare them to an arcade already, and I was like, why would they make joysticks like this when there's awesome arcade joysticks? So I I rare I have a ton of them, but I never play with them because I find the the throw of them so short. Like mm. it doesn't even feel like you're moving the joystick. It makes them feel like they're stiff, even though they're not stiff. Um, so you probably will never see me play with the CX-40 mm -hmm. joystick. Um, I think we might have played with it once when we're testing out like all the joysticks. <gasps> like we're, we're, I think we are playing with buttons, though. Or was it left and right, or just button? It was called Head Kicker 2.0. And we're plus trying all the buttons on the jo different joysticks. You kind of have to move I know. while you're down and or while you're down. Yeah. I'm just worried to do that because I accidentally I pull it. up all I, the time. I like, did that too. It's it's it gets challenging. Um, so there are 36 of these made. Nice. Let's see if I recognize any names. It's quite a long time ago. 2008. <sighs> Came nope, too fast. Don't recognize any names. Totally different set of people. <laughs> And now then there were... Whoa! Whoa! Terrible. Craziness. It's happening. Let's listen to the music. Yeah, the music's cool. I think it's a pretty short loop. Mm -hmm. How big is this game? Let me see. Okay. Stop it! <laughs> I need a new tablet. Oh, so slow. 4K. Pretty good for a 4K game. Do you come across homebrews that use the CX21 uh, touchpad? We played one uh, not too game? long ago. The mole game, which yeah. actually uses both touchpads. The mole-themed uh, show is very good. Other than that, no. <laughs> no, none of them do. Was there another Pretty one? unusual. There was one other one that uses used the touchpad, and it was a laser game. And you would con um, start the lasers. Like, you would say, use this laser here, and you press the corresponding button on the touchpad. Um, so, two? I think those are the only two I know of that I've played, at least, on the show. Other than that, I don't think so, because it's a very specific kind of controller. Oh. 
although very versatile, mm. like it has 12 inputs, and if you put up two of them, you have 24 inputs. Um, especially if you... I think it'd be really good for an RPG. Like, just awesome for an RPG. Having a joystick in port 1, and having the touchpad in port 2, and making an overlay for the... Star Master is a game? Um, that specific um, touchpad. Tons of them for sale, yo, though, yeah, tons of them. So it'd be perfect oh, for using for an RPG because they're very available. If you try to hold back and go down, it often just brings it back down. Yeah. And that's kind of the issue is you want to move as you're going over something, but if you actually do that, it brings you down a level. Does it actually? Let's try it just well, before anything comes on the screen. Do it. Do it now. Do it now. Go up. Well, move. Well... Yeah, so you can. You just you have can, to be very but deliberate. I was that's what I was trying to do. Well that yeah, that, that doesn't help. Um but that's what I was trying to do, and it immediately crashed. Yeah, there's a bunch of kids' yeah, games that use the big blue one, which I have as well. And you could make a big overlay for the big blue one, but they'd be massive overlays. It's probably better to use the smaller one for if you're gonna use it for an RPG. But you'd have to either be resigned to the fact that not everybody can play your game because they don't have that controller or have it so your game can either use that controller or have like a joystick input as well like you could drop into a menu and like instead of pressing the button for fight cast magic flee like all these different buttons on it you'd have to be able to you'd have to allow for a a joystick input, joystick menu. But I think somebody should use that one day for an RPG or some some game that requires complex input. Maybe uh, Carl G can use it for penalt. No, he's already got it set up for a uh, joystick menu. Two, zero. So try to go down and go left, like okay. up and down. That's what I was finding. Like not... No. Yeah, I see, you're, you're doing fine. fine. I you think... just have to be very deliberate in it and not let up. But I was barely moving and it was crashing. And that's what was what, what I was finding frustrating. Yeah. It's like I was trying to, I was trying to go down or go up and, and go up at, like left and right which is essentially, if you're taking that perspective, you're going left and right. Yeah. And it was immediately crashing, and I'm like... <laughs> it's challenging, but it is user error. Like, I don't know. It's fine for me. There's nothing, there was nothing I was doing. I was not pushing forward, so... Fine for me. I don't know. I was finding it very frustrating. You do have to master that, though, for this, because you will crash if you can't move at the same time as being down or up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that one. Does it start at the beginning? Oh, it does start at the beginning. Yeah. Bastards. So mean. Oh my god. <laughs> Why am I having trouble with this level? I was able to do it last time. It's not an easy level. No. This is where it gets It gets it gets pretty really hairy. hard. You have to be paying attention. You have to move. Yep, you have to anticipate what's coming. So you have to be at the right level and anticipate where your plane needs to be. Yep. Pretty much have to pay attention to the column. I also think right when, away. You, when you shift forward, you slide forward too, and that causes some problems sometimes. Yes. You have to recognize you, you have that. To, your you have ship to see changes that your ship position. changes position when you when you go forward and back. The center of your ship does not remain constant. No. Damn it! Z zero! Yeah. <laughs> Most people have the Star Raiders keypad or the basic programming uh, brain game ones. Yeah, a lot of people do. I don't think it would be an, an obstacle if somebody made a game with those in mind, because a lot of, at least people who have play homebrew would be able to play it. Mm, yeah. I don't know how many people play homebrew. I'm sure I asked it on a, a poll one day. Yeah, 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 yeah. How do you play your homebrew? Yeah. Like, do you play it on a real console? And I think a lot of people played it on a real console mm. and had 
harmony carts. It's cool to play it on a real console. Yeah. It's like original. It is. So in, in that way, they would have to have the actual hardware. Yeah. As opposed to um, playing it on an emulator, you can assign any key you want to that number pad. You can mm -hmm. have your have your number pad be your number pad over here. Yeah. And that'll be very easy. Um, boom. boom. Let's go back to the chat. Yay. There we go. Most people have the Star Raiders. I guess some whack some whack-a-mole homebrew games can use. Yes. Whack -a -mole. I highly recommend playing that whack-a-mole homebrew game. Um, it's very, our, very good. I have to say that was quite entertaining, that mole-themed uh, show. <laughs> All and mole. and all the mole, all the mole games, yeah. all the mole jokes, and the mole. Yeah. Um, what do I want to say? I'd hate not having the overlay. You'd have to have the overlay, and also you wouldn't be able to make it out of paper because it would just get wrecked all the time. Yeah. You'd have to professionally have it made up. Mm. Mole puns, mole puns, mole puns yes. all day long. Oh yeah, it was good times. Star Raiders, that's the name of it. Yeah. Star Raiders. Mm. It was really cool being able to control so many things, warp around the map. Yeah very very handy kind of input mm. that's for sure um so we played some games today <laughs> yes we did we played asteroids attack yes we almost got to the end excellent. excellent game we have gotten to the end though we did the on first a, stream. A previous version so, so he's yeah. made it easier but harder at the same time yeah. he's tweaked it you i were, think it's you very were like this far away yeah so, it was yeah. very very yeah. fair and that was like my first game so i think it's very fair yeah um, so it still presents a challenge. You can't just pick it up and win. Mm -hmm. You want it to be challenging. And I was playing it on easy mode. So they're still in a hard mm -hmm. mode. Cave Rescue. Um, very challenging as well. Um, I'm not one for mazes. I hate mazes. But that was fun. Mm -hmm. Playing Cave Rescue. Flying around. Very. You have to have the right joystick. Mm -hmm. So you have to be tap, 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 tap. A little bit. Really fun. Yeah. Really, really, really good. Yeah. Uh, Danger Zone, a great remake of Combat. Mm. The airplane um, parts in Combat, and he's upgraded so many things. It's hardly even Combat anymore. It's like its own its own game. But obviously it stems from the original Combat, where you're flying and shooting each other. Mm -hmm. That's the basics of it. Really great graphics, and amazing for a game that's just like, yeah, I'll do it in a couple weeks, Money Funster, in between my other games I'm making. <laughs> so really, really great. It just, it feels beautiful. It's beautiful looking too. Yes. Uh, to be able to customize it is great. Yeah. Customize your plane. Some games you just feel, you feel the artfulness yeah. of it, you know? It's Definitely just really its own nice. game with a nod and homage, yes. homage to combat. Yes. yes. Yeah. It's It's gone so far past it that it's like, it is in its own right because it's mm. so much to do in it. I project, I you know it frustrated the hell out of you, but... Um, well, no, I, I just, it's it, it, it's a game that's very precise. Yeah. It's and you the have kind of game that you practice a bit and then you get good at. But it's, it's very deliberate. It's it. very deliberate. And, and yeah, something about, like, I was trying to shift downwards and it was immediately shifting my level. And I'm like, that's really frustrating. Like, I don't know yeah. why all of a sudden it was doing that because it seemed to be okay. And then all of a sudden it was crashing me. But, um, but yeah, I think it's just very deliberate. And, and some games are like that. You have to be very precise and deliberate. And once you yeah. get the hang of it, they're fine. But so I can see why Thomas Yanch said, hey, that looks like this game. Yeah. It is it, very similar. It's extremely similar. The other one we played, Trench, was trying to go for a 3D effect. And it was, was very cool. really pushing the limits of what a yeah. 2600 could do. Yeah. Um, it was, a, I think it was a little bit of glitches here and there. Um, yeah, it, yeah, it was been a little smoothed stuttery, out. kind of, yeah. Um, it's, And the person who made Trench was thinking about other ways he could have done it. Mm. Like, if he took mm -hmm. what was going on here and kind of applied it to to his game, mm. where, where he was drawing multiple things and they were moving at the same time, I think he could have um, cleaned up his, his version of it. Mm. Yeah. Um, so some fun games today took a while to play them because <laughs> they were pretty big games mm. uh so let's see Is what's it? coming oh it's up. 9 30 that flew by though yeah we had a lot of things to do a lot we of did, fun things we did the plus card and looked at 7800 yeah, stuff that's the problem when you're when you're you're canceling your tuesdays there's a lot to talk about when you finally come back yeah it's easier to do one show a week 
but there's a lot to do in that show. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. You never think that there'd be mu that much yeah. homebrew stuff to talk about, but there is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and always... I think at the end of the day, you this is not permanent, but it's just oh, for God, a couple no. weeks. Yeah. No, I'd rather have two shorter shows than one mega show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what people feel out there. Yeah. I mean, once you go past 15 minutes for a YouTube um a, a youtube video no one watches. you're into a different realm yeah it's true of type of video <laughs> and type of people that watch those videos yeah that's true and i'm never going to be a 15 minute show so i just no. go but whatever i don't care if it's two hours or three hours or four hours yeah people want to watch it they can watch it if they don't want to watch right. it that's... and they can skip through the parts they don't want to watch so yep. that's skip that's games a good way. do whatever they like yeah yeah it's, it's for those who enjoy it yeah like Metal Lunar Seven, yeah. Seven is still hanging around. <laughs> yeah, and Azure Black Hits and Azure. Yeah. yeah. Um, I figured so, they're all the West Coast people. Oh, I don't know if that's true, sure. but well, it's only twelve. Or they're up on, very late. It's only yeah. twelve thirty on the East Coast. Well, yeah, it's yeah. true. And that's it's a weekend, true. which is why we're doing it on Fridays. Yeah. So that people can stay up. Yeah. No East, East Coast. Coast haha. I guess it's not really that no. bad. Yeah. At the end so, of the day. We do have some really exciting shows coming up that I can't tell you about. <laughs> and I just confirmed the secrecy. confirmed one show yeah. that that is really really exciting. Yeah, I can't tell you about it. I'm <laughs> but so um, yeah, it's, I know it's, about it. So yeah, <laughs> it's it's. I hear things. Marriage privilege. What marriage privilege. <laughs> What is that? What is that legal? Oh, the legal term. Double jeopardy? No, no, that's the not other double thing. jeopardy. It's like um, I don't even know if it's Conf true. Confidence? Um, no, no, it is. It is. There's an. Ex it, oh Lord! There's... I should. I know this. Um, it's it's like uh, yeah, it's like you can't that the whole concept that you can't testify against your your spouse, but I don't think that's a real thing. There's very specific marital confidence. Marital yeah, confidence, I don't. Something like, I, something like that. No, it's not. It's not as broad as some people think it is, but there's very specific cases where it you, applies. It applies, Because yeah. there, there's an uh, an assumption that there's no secrets between spouses. Yeah. Um, you you just overhear and you see everything <laughs> yeah. and you know everything that's going on and you can't help it. Like, it just happens. Yeah. Because you live in the same house. You're overhearing phone conversation. There's no expectation of privacy. Yeah. I can't remember, though, but it's not what people think. It's, no. It's like it only applies in very specific it, situations. Yeah. And I'm not does, even sure if it implies in Canada. I, I it, it's, it, it might be, be an US American thing. thing. I don't know. It's... I don't know. It, it's like if somebody's in trouble for something, the other person can't get in trouble for it. Spousal privilege. That's it. Spousal yeah. privilege. Yeah. So if you look that up, there's probably a Wikipedia page for it saying what it is and what it isn't. Yeah, spousal yeah. privilege. Yeah. Your daylight savings changed from some weeks made me stay awake late for the end of the show. Oh, oh, daylight savings. One day they'll get rid of it. There's slowly the West Coast is starting to agree that we're going to do it because we all kind of have to do it at the same time. It makes the most sense to do that. Because one of us can't just do it. Yeah. Because that's insanity. And I think almost everybody on the West Coast has agreed yeah. we're going to do it. It's, it's, it's just it's when. It's the first step towards Cascadia, which is... <laughs> That's no. never going to work. No. If it was all big cities, <laughs> that would work. But the interior people in the U.S. Are, have oh, a very true. different outlook on life yeah. <laughs> than people in the big cities in Canada. They're like totally different yeah. type of people. That's very true. Yeah. yeah. We should stay on daylight time. Yeah. Uh, I think so. I don't think sh there should be... This is daylight? Be... No. This is daylight time. Not daylight savings. Just regular. Daylight. Daylight savings... And if we weren't on this, it would be in darker, right? the summer... Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. So what stay we experience this. now yeah. would stay. Yeah. yeah. It'd be better. Um, anyway. So there's two... Standard time. Thank you. Yeah, standard, standard time. time. Yeah. Um, so there's two exciting shows coming up that I can't tell you about. One could be in... Three weeks, four weeks. The other one, totally random. Don't know. So you've got two two special episodes, but you have no idea. And they're, they're almost one hundred percent going to happen before the end of the year. So sometime in December. Could be Do you late think November. Hit November. Mm. It could. That's it could exciting. hit November. Yeah. Um, but they're both definitely happening before the end of the year. I've been told. Hmm. Um, there's also developer spotlight. December 18th. It's been pushed ahead, as I told you. 
Um, the other ones are probably going to fall outside of the normal broadcast. Like we do them on a Saturday or Sunday. They won't mm. be on a Friday um, and won't interrupt the normal show. They'll be like a bonus show. Mm. Um, yeah, they're both very different. <laughs> Very different and special in their own ways. Yeah, I don't know. I can't say anything until it, it happens. Um, but hopefully I can announce one or the other soon. And I think I will be able to announce one of them soon. I don't know. I'm excited. I don't know. It'll she knows about soon. them and I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell anybody. Like literally yeah. one of them I can't tell anyone. And the other one, some people It's killing some him. You can know. tell. He's like, I... Yeah, yeah, I, I can't talk. Yeah, it's really exciting. But it's coming. It's really exciting stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the next episode will be back on next Friday. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got Berserk Soccer lined up. Um, that's going to be exclusive um, premiere, work mm -hmm. in progress. Nobody's heard of it or seen of it. The developers only sent it to me. Nice. Um, I'm sure we're going to have some more exciting games as well. Yeah. Um, because of how spaced out the shows are. <laughs> it's like going to be almost always premieres, yeah. which is rich is exciting. It's good. Yeah. But it, they take a lot of time up because you want to yeah. get in depth in them. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then the holiday homebrew special at the end of December mm. sometime. Um, probably the Friday after the 18th or is that too far into it? I think that might be too far. Yeah, that's too far into it. So it might be on the Tuesday like of the 22nd. Well, we might be way so you might have to do it before that might be before that might be on the 15th the 15th might be a good but time. the 18th is like with john champo john champo yeah. so maybe yeah. we'll do it even on a saturday or sunday yeah. we'll just throw it in there somewhere yeah. that's why it's unscheduled right now in the schedule mm. um yeah if you want to look at the schedule there it is it's in the atari age forums you just search for zero page homebrew Excellent. you can see everything coming up and you can look at watch all the old shows mm. You can do a search. You can see how many patches I've got. I've got six out of the nine homebrew patches. Um, so two aren't nice. released, and I still have to get one that is mm -hmm. released. Got 20 out of the 47 Activision patches, mm -hmm. and they're making more homebrew Activision patches. So that number is going to be increasing. <laughs> and I have zero Magic Gold Thumb Hall of Fame patches, and I will never get any of them because they're some of them seem impossible to get the scores on them yeah they're out of control scores they're crazy hmm. crazy crazy scores. do many people have them i don't think so <laughs> is there a scoreboard sorry yeah I I'll have to, for, the, for the yawns <laughs> i'll have to look up the scores mm. like high scores on them uh, some people can get them no i swear i looked up one of them and like one person in the world has got has claimed score. it yeah yeah so I have wow. no idea how I'm going to even come close to Well, that. you got to try. I mean... Yeah, oh, I'll try. I've, I think we tried one. What did we try? Cosmic Arc? I yes. think Cosmic Arc, yeah. And we didn't even come close. You have to... I think what, Thomas Yench was giving us hints, and you have to fudge it. Yeah, well, you I'm do. I'm sure S. Ramirez has, yeah. 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 <laughs> if anybody can do it, S. Ramirez. S. Ramirez can. So maybe he can play it first, and then... Record a video. Yeah. I'll watch and then his show video, us how to do it. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll still fail. Because <laughs> he's an expert player. Yeah. Yeah, he's really good. Yeah. Um, so thanks for tuning in mm -hmm. uh, to a long, long show. Thanks for hanging out and still sticking around Miss Command. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm Metal Lunar, Flackets, 06502. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Thunkist is in there. Ricardo Pim, thank you for sending on your game for us to play. Absolutely. Dan, Dan ABC. ABC. Arena Foot, Andrew Davey. Oh, what is this? Uh, Homebrew Retired Project. I Project. Oh, it does exist. Work in Progress Retired. Interesting. It wasn't retired. It was released and f the full release. Is there an NTSC version? No. I wonder why he's pointing that out. Mm. Just where it is, I guess, in the ROMs. Uh, S. Ramirez, 2008. Kefman 2 d Yep. And thank you, Thunkist, again for subscribing yeah. for Excellent. nine months now. Uh, uh, I suppose to Pack Rat VG. I suppose to hasn't been here for a while. Thanks yeah. for hanging out today. Dan AVC. Uh, who else? All these names. Oh, oh, they were getting to some. Um, Fabi Saldi. Some Brazilian names. Fabi Shoki, 1968. 
A few people had to duck out. Uh-huh. MCP90. Say that one. Uh, Dan <laughs> Elo... I don't know. Dan Rodriguez. Yeah. Rodriguez. Uh, Sandra Saldi. Sandra Saldi. Some VL. Fabi Saldi. Yes, excellent. Ed's, Ed's Dutra. Nathan VL. Yeah. Oh, Dinosaur Gamer 80. Yes. Uh, oh, that's a top. And Paulo de Paulo OF. Yeah. And so, thank you uh, for everybody tuning in. Yes. Oh, we're caught up him. Thank Still, you, Zero Page yes. Homebrew, for making Asteroids Attack part of your show. Guys, please follow us on gameselect.com.br. Really good long show. <laughs> yeah. So, if you want to keep up to date with uh, um, <laughs> Asteroids Attack coming out, yeah. um, check out their website. You need a, bl- a plug-in bot that saves the username. Yes. Well, it only goes so far, unfortunately, that's but that's interesting. okay. interesting. Yeah. Anybody who talked during the show. I'll have to look up bots because uh, I don't, usually have, don't you, have any time. Usually you do catch everyone from the beginning when you yeah, call them out at the like beginning and, and call half. them out at the end. There I are a few people in the 90, middle who might get missed, but uh, 95% I think you get most of them. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. had a lot of people today. It was great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A good amount of people watching the Brazilian the Brazilians yep. always bring lots of their friends. Yes. Which is always really nice. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. It's so nice to have another crowd. Oh, there's still lots of people yep. watching. Excellent. They're just not talking. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching. And we will be back uh, next Friday with yes. lots more exciting 2,600 and 7,800 homebrews. Um, so you, everybody have a good weekend. And we will see you next time. Yeah. Bye-bye.